Okay, this is Aaron again with Exalted Lamb 1, and I have my latest video up for you. It's kind of a little bit of controversy I've been in. Uh, I posted this video, well, this previous version of this video, I have to re-record it now, um, on you, my main channel on YouTube, and it was removed after about 2,000 views last night at about 2 a.m. Um, because, hey, they say I'm cyberbullying zills. I'll say it that way, okay? I don't know if they even care what i say about that so um and i think i know some of the speech i had wasn't in code because i'm not used to speaking in code on that so that might be it so i'm going to retry uh and we'll see what happens so i just want to let you know that so this is on this channel right here my backup channel is right here okay that's on this channel right now that you're maybe seeing this if i post it at different places um but my original this so this is part two Part two, also I want to say that part one was about this release of the Heliofont uh, new video um, that hasn't, a new one hasn't been released since they re uh, released the first iPad Go 2 over 11 years ago. Okay, that's huge. So um, it looks like it's really nothing. And then um, I covered that in my uh, part one, but it is, it's got a lot of um, things in the background, a lot of gematria on the scenes and thing, uh, part of the scenes and everything. So if you want to know about that, um, there's a link in the description box below to my part one that goes back to this channel, my original channel, which has about 27,000 subscribers. And unfortunately, this one, um, I haven't had to worry about a backup channel for a while again. So it only has like 900 subscribers. So if you can, please share this video with everybody you know. Um, it's huge. It's massive. And just let you know, also, there's going to be a lot of things in this whole video. I'm redoing this video because of this thing and but i there's some things i've added there's uh, not a lot of new uh stuff that um is huge for this video um even what i had what i recorded before the same stuff but um it, and there's some massive stuff in the whole thing so watch the whole thing you're gonna miss a lot of great stuff if you don't so i'm just saying uh it's not to keep you here or whatever it's just man there's a lot of amazing stuff i have in this whole video that really proves this time frame and you know it's again it's my best guess but it's massively huge um, this time it just I think I really unlocked this code so um, and then also um, going to uh, my timeline of events um, I ha always have that pinned to the top of comments um, so that same thing with this video and my previous video part one and this part two okay and so I'm gonna give you an example here so timeline of probable events um, so the first day is the first day this is really either the first day, these are two in the sense of the first day or the pre day and the first day um, I'll refer to them in different in different ways, but um, it, it's very possible there's going to be a big, I know there's going to be a big announcement, and that, because uh, Trumpel, I call him Trumpel, <laughs> uh, because he uh, he's a mythical creature that spins um, gold from straw, and uh, all kinds of stuff, and uh, it also has to do with uh, Trumpel thin skin, <laughs> being super thin skinned and all that stuff, but he's a character, he's a caricature of a person, okay, not a real person, okay, so uh, Trump will announce something huge, possibly attempting to broker a peace deal with Russia slash Ukraine zills in one day, but it fails. Um, Trump will, could also, I want to put on here now, could also announce that he's running with this person here. Okay, I'm going to say it that way. Um, this guy here, okay? Uh, that's important. This is a very possibility because, like, for example, they'd be running as that, and it's these two numbers quite a bit, and Trump will is these two in so many ways, which is the first day. And again, he uh, he's really equated to the first day. Um, many ways and other days and the the la uh, the the eighth day 26th of uh, uh, July so two plus six is eight he's the eighth day um, he is mr. 58 in so many ways he had the 58th inauguration um, Trumpel's tower is 58 floors high I mean all kinds of stuff it's crazy and then um, Joe Biden's uh, I call him creepy uncle Joe Biden time um, is most likely removed because they're really playing up, especially now, his uh, cog his cognitive problems. Um, really playing it up, like he when he just met with the the, the king, oh King Charles, uh, um, uh, that he couldn't even be directed by him, and 
he was spouting off and all kinds of crazy stuff, losing his mind or whatever. And this is all played up. For example, I've shared before, and me and my brother Constantine have talked about this uh, many times. He, uh, the, the Leslie Nielsen character in Naked Gun, Frank Drebin, is based on him. Um, Drebin is an anagram of Biden missing one letter on purpose, and I've shared that before. So um, and if you look at it, it's an anagram, and there's one letter's difference is the difference of you can just remove it because it's a nine and then Drebin equals Biden. It's crazy. Um, and there's so many things like that. And then, um, so anyway, this is just a little sh cut of what it is like um, for the whole 16 days. So check it out. Pin to the top of comments on this video and my previous video. Okay, so, and then as I say all the time, um, you know, I'm here to expose the darkness. I have I don't use Jumatra in my daily life. Some people like to use Jumatra for everything that they do. And all that. I mean, that's just silly. And a lot of people ask me about them personally with Jumatra. And I'm like, no, I don't do that. Um, I just use what, what I just use their examples out there and use the Jumatra on them to expose what they're doing. So just like Ephesians 5.11 says, my motto is having no part in the worthless deeds of darkness. I have no part of it, but instead exposing them. And so that makes in the mind of some, uh, so many trolls and ultra religious whack jobs out there, they say, um, oh, because you're exposing it, you're part of it. I mean, uh, you know, the, nope, not at all. I'm not part of it. I'm completely, um, anybody who says stuff like that, I mean, you're not looking at the details. You're not looking at the who I am. You're not looking at what I say and what I do. You're just looking at some other things, which I don't, I mean, I just don't understand why you say that. Or people say, oh, false prophet and everything. I've never said that these things would, I never said these dates would actually happen or anything like that. I'm always speculating. Now I'm saying these events, most of these events will happen, okay? But as far as when and everything, I have no idea. I'm trying to get clues from the Lord. And he never gives you the whole thing. He certainly doesn't give you the exact dates or anything like that. And to nobody, never, okay? Um, so that's, I want to make that super clear. And then, as I've shared before, predictive programming is in everything we watch and everything we consume and the media, okay? It's because ultimately they want the, the who is behind this are demons and and then elites who run the world, they're the ruling families of 13 families, and they also have their guy that they created, so-called, who's a clone, Stinky B.O., the 44th Prez, Barack Insane, Obama. Okay, it's, he is the guy that they've, so they want one world religion, one world dictator, one world government, all this kind of stuff. That's what they're moving towards, and they have been doing that for a long, long, long time. If from the very beginning, a thousand of years ago, I mean, that's just where it's been going. It was, and that one, remember the Tower of Babel, remember that? That got smashed. And then since then, they've been re, re you know, you know, plotting to do it again, but it's taken so much. And now they're using, of course, um, AI and technology and every kind of way to conform everybody to this and again programming the media so uh what predictive programming is is a subtle this is my own definition over the years this is probably the most accurate that i could come up with it's a subtle form of psychological conditioning woven into the fabric of all mass media designed to subconsciously program and or consciously acquaint the public with pre-planned societal changes ideas or events these changes ideas or events eventually become reality largely because the public over time has already become programmed and or familiarized with them accepting them as, as accepting them as natural progressions thus eliminating virtually all pub, po possible public resistance commotion or investigation very important so um it's under the radar it's subconscious in so many ways and i am saying wake up from your subconscious um programming and this is what's going on you're being programmed and this is the evidence of this a lot of it is um you know uh symbolic but more of it is in the what they believe the Kabbalists believe that the uh the power comes from the number in the letter okay so the letters have number of values and they all have a vibration to them which is very deep i don't really get into that because i don't even completely understand that i know what the lord's told me on some of it but i don't I, it's too it's very deep okay it's very deep a lot of people wouldn't understand it really but the vibrations are the same for similar ideas even the, and those numbers match um, it's crazy. I don't know how to explain that. It's 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 beyond me to explain that. But they have power. Similar numbers have power. Similar ideas have some of these ideas that um, have these numbers are have more power. Okay. So anyway, the rule of Kalel is one thing I want to mention here, along with a few other things here. The Kabbalistic rule of Kalel and Freemasonry 
states that one digit can be added to or subtracted from the gematria value of a word without affecting its value. This seems to modern ears to be a cheat. However, the Kabbalists explain the rule by pointing out that for them, one was not a number. The monad symbolized the divinity and could come and go as he pleased, adding nothing or taking nothing away. And I've come to understand a little bit more about this in the last year, year and a half, where the Lord showed me how they take something forward and then the same cipher in reverse, and they put them together as one. And then you can borrow from either side to you know to add to the whole. Or if you subtract from one, you're adding to the other. If you're adding from one, you're subtracting from the other. Okay, it just doesn't come from nowhere usually. But they do put in here that one can come from nowhere. Okay, so, but usually it's from another quantity that's say, part of it. Okay, and I'll show you that here a little bit here. And then I want to mention that um, seven, which is a lot of times shown in different ways, of course, is secretly showing 2 plus 2 plus 3. Uh, the other versions of 7 are 4 plus 3 is 7, uh, 2 plus 5 is 7. So we have, um, of course, 2, 2, 3. If you see 2, 2, 3, it's 2 plus 2 plus 3. If you see 43, it's 4 plus 3. And you see 25, it's 2 plus 5. And even they're reversed. So you might see 34 a lot. You might see 52 a lot in different things out there. And then, uh, again, the reverse, or maybe 61 or 16. 61 is the year of the birth of Stinky B.O., okay? Uh, the, anyway, uh, no no bombazels, okay? So, um, 6 plus 1 is 7. See how they do this. So, it's called, um, we d it's called uh, compressing or decompressing numbers. So, if you have 7, you're decompressing to 2, 2, and 3. If you have 2, 2, and 3, you're compressing them to 7. And that's how they hide things. So, I want you to understand. This is how they hide things. So, I want to show you this year. This year we're in right now is compress and decompress in different ways. 7 can decompress into these. These can decompress into that. And there's a few other options uh, that I'm going to show you here. Um, but that just give the yes idea. That's how they hide things. So, it's completely legal. It's a legal thing that they can do. So, to hide the truth because they're required by God to hide the truth and they're required to reveal what they're doing but but in a hidden way, okay? Because they they have to reveal what they're going to do because it's legal, okay? Um, it's just like um, if you, it, you know, you're going to sign a contract, right? Well, then what do they do? They put the details or what they're really doing in the fine print and because you have to see the, it's got to be there in front of your eyes. But most people don't read the fine print and they know that and they just sign the contract. And again, sign the contract is when it goes into effect. Okay, speaking of that, okay, but so if you didn't read the fine print, you're stuck. So what happens when you consume all this stuff, all the stuff in the media, movies, TV, all this stuff, and you consume it without reading the fine print and looking at what am I consuming? What is it really saying? What is it programming me with? What is it um, trying to make me believe? Then you're signing something that you don't know it's how it's affecting you. And that's what the Lord's saying, hey, don't do that. And that's what I'm telling you, don't do that. Look at what I'm showing you, how what this stuff really says. And speaking of signing things, the signature of um, in our government, the United States, was the end and the beginning of the United States, I believe. This is what the Lord, I think, is showing me right now. So the end and the beginning of the United States was the actual signing of the Declaration of Independence. Most people think it's uh, sept uh, sorry, uh, July 4th, but it's not. Voting on the Declaration of Independence. So they were basically voting, and then they were arguing back and forth and debating for almost a month, okay, from uh, July 4th to August 2nd. So after much debate, the Second Continental Congress ultimately agreed to the Declaration of Independence and then signed it on August 2nd, 1776, in the Pennsylvania State House. Okay, so that is the real signing. So again, when th as you, if you know in contractual law or whatever, anybody does, or, I mean, I've done sales and stuff for a long time. The day they sign something is when it goes into effect, okay? That's when it's legal, okay? So the day they signed it is not 7-4 or July 4th. It's August 2nd. And so that is the beginning of the United States, and that's the death warrant for the end of the United States, I believe, okay? So this is uh, t basically uh, on July 4th. It was supposed, supposedly the 247th anniversary of the United States, okay? 247 is so many things, but... Um, I'm going to get into a little bit of it, but m mostly show the, all, a lot of the peripheral around it and everything and what that means. Um, it's, and it's in, the, in, it's in the release of iPad Go, and I'm going to show you that here at some point here. So um, so anyway, going, moving on to what is actually in this. So again, this whole thing, not only what they did is predictive programming and showing what, so in the beginning is the end, okay? Also, in this whole thing is the number. So watch this, okay? 
So if you look at this, I've shared that this is an eight, uh, eight plus eight day process or a 16 day process. It's in between the beginning of sorrows. It's talked about in the Bible. Jesus said, these are the beginning of sorrows, earthquakes, rumors of wars. I mean, all this kind of stuff has been in the last several years. We have all these uh, beginning of sorrows, all these crazy stuff has been going on um, just in, in the world. And then there's a transition of eight plus eight days. In the Bible, it talks about us. Uh, it kind of alludes to or especially in the Revelation 12 sign from the birth of Jupiter out of Virgo that happened in uh, uh, September 23rd, 2017, there was 14 days. Again, that's 7 plus 7, and there's a pre-day and a post-day, but that also equals 16 or six or 8 plus 8. And then 88 is in so many things in our world. It's in all kinds of games. For example, if you're playing, like let's say you're playing, um, you know, you know, you roll the dice. What is it called? Roulette or whatever, I guess. You roll the dice, and you got two dice, and that that each dice ha, each die has uh, eight corners. So two dice is eighty-eight. Um, for example, um, and a piano, um, standard piano, it's got eighty-eight keys. Okay, and there's just so many examples like that. And I've shared some in the past and everything like that, but um, I'm not getting to that right now. But so if you look at this date of August 2nd, and now we're looking at 2023, for example, being the actual um, one it's talking about, um, be, but being the last day, like I said, it fits perfectly. So we go eight, and then we go backwards. Seven, six, five, four, right here, down here, three, two, one. The first day of the second eight days, is the first eight days, I'm going to show you in a second. The first day of the uh, the second eight days, group of eight days, it kicks off by the death, reported death of the Antichrist. Okay, and the Antichrist, you'll know who he is because he's going to die on July 26th. Okay, and then who is that? Well, anything you add 9 to stays the same. For example, in this number right here, you have 8, and then 9 plus 4 is 13, and then 1 plus 3 is 4. Okay, so nine, so that stays, 4 stays the same because 1 plus 3 is 4 when you add 9 plus 4. But so you get rid of anything you add 9 to stays the same. You can get rid of this 9. Who was born on 8-4? So he's born on 8-4, he's going to die on 7-2-6, the Antichrist. That's Stinky B.O., born on August 4th, okay? He's going to die on August, so that starts off that 8 days. Now, if we keep going backwards on this next 8 days, we have what right here. Boom, 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 all the way back here to the very first day, or the pre-day in a sense, 7-18. Now watch, if you go to this bad boy right here, that what I did, they just said in this whole thing, that's predictive programming, the voting on Declaration of Independence, what I just showed you, that whole paragraph, or the, it's actually one, or two, two sentences basically, is look, 8-17 or 7-18 backwards, which is the first day, 7-18. It's also the the last two days are 8-1 and 8-2, August 1st and August 2nd. And there's August 1st, and remember, 7 is 2 plus 2 plus 3, hiding 2 plus 2 plus 3. So as I've shared before in the past, each attack day or each day that there's going to be some kind of attack or something is a two-day process. So the first day is 7-18, 7, 7 19. The um, fourth and fifth day is 4 and 5, which is um, uh, 22 and 23. And that's going to be the zombie day, uh, zombies, alien, bad aliens attacking, different things like that. Each one is a two-day process. Same thing with the last day. It's basically around midnight, August 1st going to August 2nd. That's why they use both times. We also have all these time zones that equate to about 24 hours, of course, across the whole world, right? And you can have something that happens in my time zone that's on one day, and then something that happens in Australia, maybe that's the, the next day. So there's a two-day thing, no matter what you do. And so there's an event, and then there's a report of that event the, the next day, typically. So it's a two-day thing on everything. So this is showing August 1st, and then, of course, August 2nd, when they sign the Declaration of Independence. So again, these are together. So it's showing, in a sense, the last day and the first day. Hopefully that makes sense. And then in the even the letters, all these letters added up is 175 and 133 words. Now we're going to see 133 a few times, um, and it means different things. But if you look at this right here, 75 is hiding 7. Remember, 5 is 2 plus 3 or 2, 3. And then 1, 3, 3. That's another one I didn't put up there. But 1, 3, 3, 1 plus 3 plus 3 is 7 or 2, 2, 3. Or oh, we could do it this way. 1 plus 3 is 4, and the 4 is broken up into 2, 2. So we have 2, 2, 3, 7, 5, or 7, 23, 2, 2, 3. Okay, so we got first day, last day, and then 7, 25, 2, 2, 3. I mean, seriously, it's all over the place. And then, again, when we're looking at this here, there's also, a, this is another way of looking at it. When we combine reverse and English, like I mentioned, re sorry, reverse and forward English ordinal, okay, 
Um, again, the same letters and words, the same exact statement here. Um, but watch this. Boom, right down here. So we have in reverse ordinal, we have 2847, which is uh, one way of doing it is you got 2, so there's 2. 8 plus 4 is 12. Then we have 7. And that is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 7. 2, 3, 7. Now let's go over here. We have 1. Uh, get rid of the 9. If you have 9, it stays the same. 1 plus 2 is 3. And then we have a 4. Now I'm going to just put it backwards just to make it easier to use and show you. So again, like I said before, 4 is 2 and 2. So 43 is 2, 2, 3. Hiding 2, 2, 3. So we have 2, 3, 7, 2, 2, 3. Again, 23rd of July, 2023. It's all in here. And so is the first day, like I showed you over here. The first day, first day and last day, and 7-23-2023 is right here in code. I mean, and there's not even off by one digit, okay? And then look, signing a Declaration of Independence is in reverse. Francis Bacon is 723. And then in Francis Bacon, it's opposite. It's also in 723, but seven's in the middle of 23. See, it's in everything. Even like, like uh, you know, all this stuff that have to do with 1776, even 1776 spelled out is, is all these numbers. Um, Paul Revere and, I mean, one if by land, tooth by sea, that's all these numbers. I mean, all the stuff we grew up with, understanding about this time frame, about the, you know, uh, the revolution and all this kind of stuff that's turned into all this. And, the you know, the United States into July 4th, 1776. It's all oh man it's all programming okay who knows what actually happened all and all this stuff but now watch this I, if you separate this out declaration of an independence look you have 228 again you could take away one so if 227 take away one put it over here so you have one plus one is 223 227 take away one here make this 227 add over here 223 and then right here we're going to make nine and eight seven nine plus eight is 17 so make this show you other because this works take the one and put it over here we have two two seven and then we have seven by itself remember seven is hiding two plus two plus three i mean it's all over it's everywhere okay so you again this is one way to look at it as two ways the world looks at it this way and hide it like 88 miles per hour right you know and back to the future that's hiding eight plus eight it's the transition when he changes the time frames from uh, the beginning of sorrows to the um, tribulation, you're changing time rates. You're changing from 1985 to 1955. Okay, but it's it's just changing those time the times. Okay, that's just it's figurative for changing the times. Okay, so we have one, two eights, or we have two sevens. So we have so we have our pre day right here, and then we have one through seven, and then one through seven, and a post day. Why would we have that? Well, because then it would fit numer numer numerically. Let's say it that way. <laughs> Numerologically, okay. Numerically, you have a pre-day, and then the first day lands on one. So we have one plus nine is ten. Take away the zero, you have one. And we have two zero twenty. Take away the zero. Anything you can take away the zero anytime, and that's two two second day. Two plus one is three. Third day. Two plus two is four, and so on and so forth. And then it goes up to. That's how it works. It's numeric, and that's what I've been looking for. And all these things I've been doing, it's got to be in an order, a numerical order. And then we have an 11th day and a 12th day and all this kind of stuff. And it fits numerically. It just does, okay? And then, for example, showing that in, in a movie called Donnie Darko. Um, the, that's the first day, 718, or the pre-day, however you want to look at it. 718 right here, Donnie Darko, okay? And it's all about the portal and about time and all this kind of stuff. Of course, I mean, think about it. How many movies have you seen in the last several years, especially the last several years, that there's been portals in all these different movies. I mean, it's not, it seems like it's in every Mar it's in every Marvel movie. Um, it's in all these other movies. It's just crazy now. Portals because they're they're programming you to these portals that are going to open up, so take people away, and monsters are going to come through them, and all kinds of stuff is going to happen. Okay, so there's Johnny Darko right there. You got this demon rabbit thing that he that he meets. But I'm going to get into this. So this is about Johnny Darko during the presidential election of 1988. Again, 88. A plus eight days, a teenager named Donnie Darko sleepwalks out of his house one night and sees a giant demonic-looking rabbit named Frank. Frank's all the numbers. Demonic-looking rabbit is the, the numbers. Who tells him the world would end in 28 days? 28 days is two eights. It's like, time, it's like times. Two times eight is 16, or tw two eights. 28 days, two eights days. 
when Donnie turns uh, returns home, he finds that a jet engine has crashed into his bedroom. Is Donnie living in a parallel universe? Is he suffering from mental illness, or will the world really end? Okay, and then the day this is released is a big deal because this is coded for the first day. And it's also coded for the last day as well, and I'm going to show that to you. But with this day, and then you add 8 plus 8 days, you get to a certain day, and it's very symbolic of what's going to happen. Okay, now let me show you that. Even And even this whole, watch, this whole paragraph right here is the numbers, of course. All this, this whole paragraph is, it's 7-5, or hiding 7, 5 is hiding 23. Again, 7-5 passed, as far as a date this year. Now, yes, it could be next year, but there's so much on 2020, 23 and 2023 that is huge. And so, the, logically, it would be 7 2, 3. And I see just as many or more 7-2-2s two, and 7-2-3s as 7-4s and 7-5s. So, anyway, and then even right here, look it up here. We have 7-4... And we have seven five. We have seven four. One and one is two and three. Seven four twenty three. It's just. Are you kidding me? I mean, do you see? Hopefully, you see this. I mean, it's right in front of your face. So then we have October twenty six is when this starts. Now this is code. Well, what's so great? What's so also what's so crazy about October? It's the only month in of all the months. That equals 666. Again, the birth of the Antichrist would be, is when it happens. But again, October is really octo. It's not 10. I mean, if you look at a stop sign and you, see, you look at a stop sign, it's an octagon. Okay, it's got eight sides, not 10 sides. But we're, we're forced to believe that October means 10. It's the 10th month. Yeah, right. Okay, that makes no sense. So again, and I've shared this even up to five years ago and for many years, that it's a, it's a complete plan to mess with these months to do their coding in it so that the chance that this would be right in that time or right before this time frame of these months is huge because they're pointing to this. So October, so September, October, November, December are Latin. Septem means seven. If you have septuplets, you don't have nine. It's not like September is the ninth month that we believe in Gregorian. September is really seven. Sept, uh, septuplets is um, seven babies, okay? For, for example, just for example. And then Octo is in October, like I said, on, like on a stop sign, is eight sides. It's not 10 sides. And then um, Novem, okay, it's not 11, it's November. Novem is not is uh, really nine. And then Decem, like is, you know, uh, a lot of things. <laughs> uh decimeter or whatever uh, it's 10 that the whole des decimal decimal system is based on tens decimal system is you know not united states it's everywhere else seems like um is based on tens so and then we're forced to believe that december is the 12th month that makes no sense because it's hiding something so what's october hiding the real eighth month which is august and so october is really eight or august 26th so let's keep going. What is this really saying? Let's follow it through. So eight and then two is decompressed into one and one. So what do we have here? I just showed you a little bit. It's very similar right there. We have one plus six is seven, one, eight. So we have August 1st being the last day. It's August 1st and August 2nd, but August 1st right here because it fits this way so well. August 1st and then seven is hiding. Two plus two plus three. And then backwards is the first day, September Sorry, uh, September. Yeah, September. Um, July 18th. July 18th backwards. Okay, so you see that? It's crazy. Now, if we take this exact calendar from the the time of Donnie Darko, whatever, and remember 2000 and, and then that one thing, right? So if we start right here and we go one day, that's one. We're going to go one full day, one. Then we go up here to eight because we're going to do eight, play eight plus eight days. And then see where I'm going with this? Uh, you see where I'm going with this? Watch. And then another eight days is boom. What's what's that day? Woo, yeah. And it's showing you that the last day, which is going to be on our calendar, October 2nd, is equating to this day. Because remember, this is the first day, which is 718. So the last day is going to be like a 9, 1, and then 1. Okay, I can't say I got to speak in code, unfortunately, because my last version of this video was taken down. So I got to change it. It's crazy. Stupid. I hate it. It's retarded. Damn censorship. God, man, it's so it's so annoying. It's so wrong. It's so and we're supposed to be in 
you know, the, the, in the, in this country that I live in, it's supposed to be the country for that. I mean, are you kidding me? So in Donnie Darko, we had the uh, jet engine crash. There's a jet engine right there. Does it remind you anything? We were just talking about nine, one, and then one, something that crashed into something with a jet. <laughs> okay. Seriously. Crazy. Okay. So again, eight plus nine is 17 and one, five plus four is nine. So that's one seven one nine. Now that's seven nineteen with the rule of cloud. You can take one away. That's the first day, or and then it's also the pre day because if you leave this one, this is a Roman tactic. Okay, a Roman tactic is like in Roman numerals. So if you have a V in Roman numerals, which really means five, and you have a one or an I before that, that makes it four. So one from this number is four or is that less one less number so um and then same with x in roman numerals if you have an i or one before that then that's nine so one before 719 is 718 so that's they love do that do this all the time one right before it all the time so it's 719 and 718 because they're both one day they're both a one process and like i mentioned all these different events are two days but they look at it as like one day okay so you'll have a lot together that's why you'll see seven four and a one you'll see seven four being 22 plus one being 23 that's happens all the time it's just it's crazy so um and then let's go to the next thing here okay and then right here since we just converted this to this we're dealing with this and this also to show you something so that's seven four or seven, four is hiding two, two, and then one and two is two, and five is hiding 23. So seven, 22, 20, 23, five is two, three. It's all hidden in there, bam. Okay, and then in the movie, right before this event happens that he meets this rabbit and everything, it shows the date that when this 28 days begins, okay? Um, so, okay, so that is October 2nd, 1988. Now watch, watch what this really is. Okay, again, boom, so we're gonna highlight this. So there's two ways this can go. October, of course, like I said, is eight, really eight. Eight, two is, and we're going to put it up here. And then another way of looking at this is, remember, rule of Kalala can get rid of any one. And then anything you add nine, two stays the same. So we're going to get rid of this one and this nine up here. So we're not going to have it up here, but we're going to have this 16. Eight plus eight is 16, um, which is seven, and that's hiding two plus two plus three. So up here, without these two, the, uh, we're going to remove this one and this nine, because anything at nine is the same. So we have this day right up here. And then down here, another way of doing it is we can take eight plus two is 10, take away the zero, you have one. And then we're going to keep this right here, and we're going to keep this right here. So we're going to keep 19 right here. We're going to eight plus eight is 16 right here. So this is the last day. And if we keep following this down, we can get to, get to the first day. Boom, right here. Six plus one is seven, 19, one. Like I showed you, remember that seven, 19 is the first day. One from seven, 19 is seven, 18. So we have both days, seven, 19, seven, 18 again. And there's the last day. And from this day, the first day or the pre day to the very last day or the post day, however you want to look at it, is 16 days. And what is that? Well, also, there's another 88 in Donnie Darko. Donnie Darko is, just happens to be 16 years old, which is 8 plus 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. Another 88 in Donnie Darko. Okay, they're all over the place. And then, so when he first wakes up, it shows the date. He first wakes up, you hear a voice, a creepy voice saying, wake up, or wake up, whatever. Okay, how, <laughs> and then his pupil is dilating. His pupils dilating. It goes from small to big, and that's a, that's a secret example of a portal. Okay, not only that, it's a water gate opening up. It's a water gate because when the rat, then the rabbit symbol hits his eye. If you look at it, you can watch it on YouTube or whatever. A little section of it, if you want, when Donnie wakes up. Um, it, as soon as that little that rabbit symbol hits this eye, it ripples like water. So it's a water gate. And it's a water gate opening. Or this is you can look like this as like a wormhole opening up. Okay, I'm serious. It's crazy. There's been uh, CERN has opened wormholes up, and the first one was over Norway. Look up Norwegian spiral event. You'll see the spiral. And if you watch some videos, you can find them still. The spiral collapses down into a wormhole, and you see the trail of it going over the mountains in Norway. And that happened to be the exact weekend that Stinky Bo got the uh, in Norway, he got the um, uh, uh, the um, the, prize, the peace prize, Nobel Peace Prize, <laughs> and that was a that that spiral was announced that he's the Antichrist. Anyway, um, at the same time, so wake up and then pupil dilating is just happens to be two two seven, just happens to be, and then it's seven. And remember, seven's hiding two plus two plus three. But also, so we not only have that's two two seven twenty second of July, then we also have two 
8 plus 6 is 14. Well, what's 214? 214, the 214th day of the year, is August 2nd, the day they signed the Declaration of Independence. The first day and the last day of the United States. Okay, boom. It just happens to be that. Please. And then, so that is, there is August 2nd, the 214th day of the year, and that's what that's showing secretly. Okay. And then this is an example of a portal opening and how these relate. It's crazy. Portal opening. What is 162? It's a few things. It's two, in a sense, 16 backwards, which is the birth of CQBO. The 216th day of the year is August 4th. Okay, it's also that's a birth here, and this is a birth. Okay, this is a birth. All these different ones are births, and then he has a death on 725, and it's reported on 726. But anyway, what what is this also? This is the 203rd day of the year has 162 days left over. Okay, and that's what is that day? Um, that is till ready. July 22nd. <laughs> so this, see how these are related? It's crazy. So July 22nd is the 203rd day of the year with 162 days left over. It's crazy. And then this one right here is 9 or September 18th, backwards in a sense. Okay. And Septem is really 7. Septem 7. So that's the first day, 17. So we literally have in this how these two are related because that's what's going on here. The first day, the last day, and then inside the first eight days is the 722 when the first portal opens. The children are taken, then the zombies happen, and uh, alien, uh, fake aliens show up, and all kinds of crazy stuff. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to show you more about that. And then here's that similar rabbit hits, and then it does a ripple thing, which I can't really show on here. It doesn't really show up very well because um, it's a still. Okay. And then, for example, demon, rabbit, ripple, and pupil. Or there's different ways you can do it. You can say demon, rabbit, ripple, or you can say ripple and pupil. It's all the same numbers. It's crazy. This is how this de demons do this. They literally pick a combinations of words that you can use. Just a few of them, one of them, all of them, um, and they all equal the same thing. And that that has massive intelligence. I'm going to show you some examples of that in this video. A few different versions of the same thing. Okay, so that's 1 plus 6 is 7, 5 plus 6 is 11, so in a sense you have 7, 2, 2, I'm gonna, again, use the 2 over here now, now see how they borrow from each side, 7, 2, 2, 2023, are you kidding me, okay, are you kidding me, and then rabbit, why is rabbit, for example, Alice in Wonderland is about going down the rabbit hole, it's a portal opening up, going to a different time, and you have a white rabbit, or there's a rabbit, right, and he's white, I'm going to talk about white in a second, but rabbit is 7, 22, 20 and then 5 is 23 hiding 2 and 3 again all these look at that and then look at white again we have the year 2 and 5 is 23 or we have 3 and then 4 is 2 2 or 2 2 3 backwards same thing all that and then what people don't know about 2 9 not only is it backwards 9 1 and then 1 because they equal because 7 2 2 equals that every single attack day is some form of 9 1 and then 1 so by them showing it back there back then in 2001 zels um, they're showing each day of attack that's going to be some form of 9, 1, and then 1. And for example, again, we have 2 is 1 and then 1, 9 backwards, which is 7, 2, 2. See, so I'm going to show you this. So you take 2 away from 9, and you have 7, 2, 2. Uh, or if you look at 7, 2, 2, see how this is? This is 7, 2, 2, 61, or 7. This is what these reduce down to. Okay, this is what this stuff reduces down to. So 7 plus 2 plus 2 is 11. Okay, this is what they reduce down to. So see how this is the same thing, but it's in a different cipher. So 7 plus 2 is 9, 2. So, or not, 2, 9 backwards. Okay, does that make sense? Hopefully it does. But there it is, 7, 2, 2, and then 7 is 2 plus 2 plus 3. Or Stinky B.O. is born on this day, and he was also born in 61. Uh, I'm gonna get into more of that too. And, or look at the look at the demonic rabbit in Donnie Darko. He's gray and white. Gray white. They sometimes use the and as well, or sometimes they just do it this way. So gray white is seven two and one, and then we borrow one from over here. Seven two one and one is two, and then we have sixteen, which is eight plus eight, or sixty one backwards. Obama's birth year, and that's seven. Okay, well, which is two plus two plus three. So seven two two. 2023. Okay, there it is. And then gray white is also a few things. It's the birth and death of um, Sticky Bo because it's GW. What's GW? 723. <laughs> Again, 722. And then we have 7G23. And then we also have YE, the last letter code. And that's 525. Who died on 525 a few years ago? That was um, um, George Floyd. George Floyd died in 525 a few years ago, and that was an example of Obama because 
um, he had a twin. So imagine if someone dies and then they come back to life later, it's like they had a twin. One died and then maybe one appeared. They do this all the time and they've done this on a lot of, and like in the prestige and, and different things where they use twins. Like they have one die and then one appear later. So it's a revival of the same person. And you see that? How the twins, one be, one dying and one revi- one alive is like, it was like the same person, but in two forms, dying and then one re- rebirth. Okay, it's crazy how that works. So you literally had George Floyd die on 525, and then all of a sudden, a few days later, or, or right after, maybe not a few days later, I don't know what it was, maybe the same day, whatever, but uh, or maybe it was a few days later, I don't know. He, all of a sudden, his so-called twin shows up, and in a sense, it looks just like him. In a sense, it's him. And for all we know, it was him. I mean, <laughs> it's crazy. And that's an example of Obama dying on 525. What's 525? Five is really the fifth month on the Roman calendar, which is July. And then 25th. So July 25th. And it's reported on the 26th. 6, 726 is Antichrist. Okay. Do you get that? I hope you get that. So we have 525 is July being the fifth month on the Roman calendar, 25. And then you have 723 being his birth. Birth and death in the first and last letter code of this. Just the stupid colors. This is how this works. It's all over the place. Okay. And so he wakes up. And the first thing you see, he get, kind of gets up and he's in a trance. And you see it shows the ceiling of his room. And then, of course, this is symbol of 4th of July. So that's 722 instead of 74 hidden. And then we have something going on right here. What is this? It looks like an angel or something. Okay, I knew what it was right away. Now I'm going to zoom, zoom up on it here. And then the, uh, this is like lightened up a little bit. So he's in a trance right here. And this is right here. I knew what it was right away because I've seen this stuff. And I'm pretty good at picking this stuff out. And then that is a Led Zeppelin cover. And then put it upside down so it matches. See how it matches. And that is Satan falling from heaven. That is on 729 or 711. That's why we have 711s all over the United States. Because it's the day he um, is born. Reborn. Okay. 711 or 729. 2 plus 9 is 11. 711s. He will fall from the sky and uh, in... Uh, basically incarnate the dead body of Stinky B.O., the 44th Press, Barack Insane, no Obama, okay? Um, I like to have all kinds of names for him. Uh, B.L.'s a butthead, the Lord of the Buttheads, um, because he's got a lot of butthead friends and, and minions and stuff like that. So he's falling right here. See him falling here? And they're showing that. He's falling during this time frame. That's why the whole point of doing the 88 days, okay? In fact, it's three days after the day he dies, or the reported day of he dies. So the, go from 726, which is Antichrist, to three days later, it's 729 or 711. And there's all kinds of 711. In fact, Trump said, I was down, he goes, I was down there at 711. You know, he was down there at 7-Eleven, but people thought, oh, he meant 9-Eleven, he was talking about that, but no, he was really telling us that 9-Eleven is 7-Eleven, and that's when he, and all this stuff, it's crazy, it's just coding, okay? I was down there at 7-Eleven. Okay, um, anyway, um, so, and then that is Led Zeppelin's swan song, which is 277, or look at the 227s, look at this. This is also 227 as well, look, 2 and 27s. Get it? Two and two sevens. But the reason why this would be both two and two sevens and two seven seven is because on the second seven, so he dies on the seventh day, which is the 25th, like I said, 525 or 725, um, seventh day. And then, so that's, and then plus seven days is uh, he, uh, he comes back to life. And then anyway, so that's he. Then uh, that's also means he's reached God status of two sevens and one seven, which is seven seven seven. And the you know the the Kabbalists believe that the top of the pyramid or divinity is seven 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 because I think God in Hebrew is or Elohim or whatever, not Elohim. I'm sorry, Jehovah in Hebrew it looks like seven 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 in Hebrew or whatever. And that's so that's God like status. And 7 plus 7 plus 7 is 21. 2 plus 1 is 3. Okay, so 3. And the bottom of the pyramid is 6 plus 6, or 6, 6, 6. That's like human existence, like guttural, you know, base human existence. Because, you know, 6 is the number of man, and then 6, 6, 6 is the bottom. So 6 plus 6 plus 6 is 18. 1 plus 8 is 9. So I want to go from 9 to 3 in the bottom of the pyramid, 9 to 3, or 9 to 3. <laughs> and 9 to 3 is September 23rd, which is 7 to 3. Okay, anyway, and 7 to 2. Okay, anyway, hope that makes sense. Um, and then when he wakes up, he's on a golf course. These two guys are like, Donnie Darko, Donnie Darko. 
Um, you know, <laughs> and everything they say is all the numbers. It's crazy. I could have did all this stuff. But again, what I could do easily on each one of these movies or TV shows I show you or anything in the media, I could literally do two to three hours of a video to show you every single little thing, step by step in these movies and TV shows or whatever. And it's crazy. I mean, it's all there. And I really believe I finally cracked this code, but we'll see. We'll see. But look on his arm. So the the funky rabbit, demonic rabbit says, end of the world in 28 days, 6 hours, 42 minutes, 12 seconds, whatever, okay? And it's it's crazy, too. It's a female male voice. <laughs> so it's the Antichrist. And again, Brock's insane in Obama is a male female. He's a Baphomet. That's what he is, okay? And I've shown that many ways how he is a Baphomet. And he's the female spirit of the contrary kind of male masculine spirit of god in a sense okay he's not he's not neither but that's kind of how they play it off god's got a kind of a masculine as a father figure more than the female even though he's kind of male and female are both attributes of god and stuff and they're very detailed with all that he's a provider and like he's a jehovah i think it's rafa which means provider which means really means breasted one and so he's providing in a sense like with breasts as well. It's crazy, but that's what it means in, in Hebrew. And then, um, you know, it's, it's stuff like that. So, um, so, and again, male and female married together are the two aspects of God in a sense, multiple aspects of God on both sides put together. And that's God and, you know, in a, and that's an example of God, godliness. Okay. And anything outside of that, a uh, male and female, uh, say it, uh, whatever. Okay. I'm going to say it that way. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, is something different. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to say it that way. So, so, man, I could easily... Yeah, okay, so if you... Add this, that, this, this, okay, is um, boom, okay? Um, <laughs> that's equals 88. 28 plus 6 plus 42 plus 12 it equals 88, okay? And then, bam, okay, we're going to show you also what this means. It equals, and okay, so watch. So 2 plus 8 is 10. We got that on both sides. 6... And then we have the two and two we're going to put over here, and then one and four we're going to put over here. Again, they can move things around a little bit to hide it, and that's how this works. So we have down here, we're going to have one plus six is seven, and then two plus two plus 14 is 18. There's the first day. That just happens to be like that, like I've already told you. It's crazy. And then one plus six is seven. Oh, okay. We also have this, again, like I showed you, in reverse. That's the last day and the post day, 8 1, and then there's 8 2. But, and then 7 is 2 plus 2 plus 3, just like I showed you earlier a few times already. Okay, now up here is 7, and then we got 22, and then 1 plus 4 is 5, and then 5 is also hiding 2 and 3. There's two ways to do 5 1 plus 4 and 2 plus 3. That's it. So when you have 1 4, it could be hiding 2 3. You have 2 3, it could be hiding 1 4. But because it's the year, the actual year, uh, 1 4 is all over the place. Okay, anyway, there you go. Bam. Okay. So then this is the movie theater. They're watching a movie, him and his new girlfriend. And his name, the real actor, well, if he's real or not. <laughs> anyway, Jake Gyllenhaal is 7-4, is 722, 20, and 5 is 23, 2023. Okay. Um, and then the actress, her character in this is Gretchen Ross. And that just happens to be, again, 722. And then, remember, get rid of the 9, 7 is hiding 2 plus 2 plus 3. Okay. And then the rabbit, he calls him. Or it's called also in different things. The rabbit is seven four again. Look at that twenty five or two and five is two three. Seven twenty two twenty twenty three. And these all of the basically these all are seven four or four seven. I mean, are you kidding me? And then the same year, they're all sevens, which is two plus two plus three. I mean, are you kidding me? Wow. There's so much to this. And they're watching a movie called The Evil Dead. Again, it's zombie day. Again, this always confirming with zombies and aliens and things like that. Okay, this this the 4th and 5th day or the 22nd, 23rd. Okay, and The Evil Dead in first letter code is T, which is 2, E, 5, D, 4. And 2 and 5 is 7 and 4 is <laughs> right there. And so 4 is hiding 2 and 2. There you go, 722. Another way, this The Evil Dead is in this English Sumerian in reverse. And you put these together, you have 7... 22 okay and then we have one and one is two and then five is hiding two three there we go seven four you can do that which is seven twenty two twenty twenty three <coughs> excuse me okay so let's keep going and then um towards the middle of the movie um there's poetry day in his class right um poetry day and he's he begins to do this poet uh poem um, and I'm going to tell you what this is. It's so crazy. But Poetry Day, I'm going to show you again first and last letter code. So P and D. 
P is 16, 1 plus 6 is 7, and D is 4, hiding 2 plus 2, okay? And then we have Y. Y is 25, of course, 2 plus 5 is 7, and then I'm going to need Y as 25 that way because it makes, it, it, this is how they do this. So you decompress 4 into 22, or you compress 25 into 7 right here. See how that works? So you got 722, a birth, and 725, a death. Okay, a death right there. They love to put these together that way as well. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. And then, so he literally starts off by saying, a storm is coming. Now, now I've said this before at different times, but um, his name is Donald. It's shown in the movie on some prescription drugs he's taking. Um, Donald, he's Donald Darko. This is an example of Donald Trumpel, okay? And he says, a storm is coming. Remember, he says, the calm before the storm. Calm before the storm. The storm is coming. Okay, all this kind of stuff, right? Okay, so he's literally saying that. So what he says, this is what he says, and it's about the children. And again, the predictive program the children being taken is all over there. I'm going to show you some of this, a good amount of this in this video. A storm is coming, Frank says. This is poetry. A storm that will swallow the children and will deliver them from the kingdom of pain. Now this, the kingdom of pain, doesn't that sound like biblical? It's crazy. He's kind of taking the place of Jesus. And I will, I will deliver them from the kingdom of pain. I'll deliver them back to their doorsteps and send the monsters back to the underground. Again, the the you know the the abyss, the monsters, the children, taking the children. I'll send them back to a place where no one else can see them. Okay, so he's going to send children, like I said, and send them again. So if you want to see scriptural examples of that, if you go to my description box underneath this video. Um, click on the description box below. There's a little arrow sometimes, and click on that if you don't know that. Some people don't know that. Um, and then you scroll down, and on the bottom, you'll have three different documents that are downloadable, okay? And one of them is about the 144, one of them about multiple raptures, and one one's about the innocent children. The scriptures on it, Old Testament knew about the innocent children being taken. A lot of Christians don't know about that because it's not taught in churchianity but it is there okay and the lord showed me that over two years i was just begging him to show me because i knew this this stuff was coming i'm like you can't destroy the children i just know you won't do that there's got to be something it's got to be in scripture and he showed me that it's all over scripture and then it's all over predictive programming and movies and tv and everything like that okay so i'll send them back to a place where no one so you can get that stuff and you can look at that stuff and then i'm going to show you in this video with the predictive program that they have to share the demons have to share in this stuff I'll, well, no one else can see them except for me, and that's Jesus, okay? Because I am Donnie Darko. So, um, and anyway, I'm sure somehow Donnie Darko equals Jesus. I have to look it up. But they do actually, they have an equal, there's an equal gematria. So, um, but there's something else about that that I haven't looked up yet. But anyway, so keep going here. And then, so this whole thing he says, the storm is coming, Frank says, storm, whatever, is, look at this. And now we've got English and reverse, and we're putting them together. Okay, and we got I just did the liberty of a plus one is nine. Getting rid of that. Okay, anything you add nine to stays the same. A plus one is nine right there. So we have look seven twenty two, twenty twenty three. Just happens to be coincidence, huh? You know, I'm just going to show you this a bunch of uh, like a hundred times in this video. No big deal. You know, nothing to see here, people. Nothing to see here, folks. Just move on. I mean, seriously, it's all over the place. How can you deny that? I don't know how you can. Okay, and then in the movie Knowing, you literally have the children are going to be taken, and they have white rabbits. Like I was saying, like I said for a long time, it's a symbol of the portal. They're going to the portal to another place. And then Knowing, look, for example, Knowing in Frank Baconis and Reverse Frank Baconis is an example how these two relate because there is a capital in there right there. Okay, now watch. Again, like a sh uh, 191 is upside down and backwards. 161. Well, what's 161? 161 is the how many days left over on July 23rd. It's July 23rd is 204th day of the year with 161 days left over. There's July 23rd, 204 days with 161 days left over. And then what's this? This is 518, or July being the fifth month on the Roman calendar, 18, the first day. Okay, that's that's when this stuff starts happening. It's crazy. There it is. But, I mean, how much more? And then in the movie, these they're perceived by a lot of people to be aliens, okay, and they're even perceived that way, but these are angels. There's wings right here. See the wings right here? And it's, it's some kind of different stylized wings. And they're about to take the children, like the Bible says. And literally, it's in several scriptures. Boom, and then they're taking them up, flying up. See, they're flying. Their wings are like, yeah, they're flying up. And then now they're in heaven, and the bunnies are there, a symbol of the portal, and a difference in change of time and, and venue and all that. Okay, there they are. And now they're in heaven. See? 
See how this is? And some people, yeah, and they, they're juxtaposing heaven when the children go to heaven with an alien world or aliens because this looks like an alien world. You don't have to have a you don't have to have a planet right there. You can just have it without it, and that'd be kind of like heaven and even these or whatever. But they're putting those two together, okay? They're putting those two together, okay? So, okay, here's another movie that kind of ripped my heart out in different ways. At first, it was like yes, I, and I knew, I and mean, I know so much about this as far as children and um, slavery and all this kind of stuff that's going on and SEX trafficking and all this kind of stuff. It's crazy. I mean. And I've had dreams and visions about it. I even had a horrible dream I've shared where Stinky B.O. was consuming children and throwing their lifeless bodies in the corner. I mean, it was just, I woke up like crying really badly and it was so horrifying. And it was like it was real. I don't know how to explain it, but he was sucking the life out of them. And uh, I don't want to get into it. Um, anyway, it was crazy. And the Lord showed me that a few years ago. And I was like, uh. And then and the, what they do with them and all this kind of stuff I've seen and so many different things. I know a lot about it. I know too much about it. Way too much about it. And I have four kids. And it really just, man, it just really angers me. And, and it makes me sad about all the children that are taking and stuff. But so this is about children. This is ultimately this is not really what you think it is. People think it's you know it's we're getting out the truth and everything. No, it's predictive programming before it actually happens because it was released on July fourth and that's really showing this when it's going to happen. So it's just a few weeks before it's going to happen when Jesus is going to solve this whole thing and take all the innocent children from every corner of the earth or every of the face of the earth, all the innocent children and stop these jack wagons from doing any more to them. And that's what I've been waiting for. That's what I've been praying for like father when is how many innocent children i mean and you think and you know what they said they said it took them five years to get this out they were saying it like there's so much opposition now that that is partially true but it's this is all by design the five years is a five and five has to do with the children and i'm going to show you what that is and the five-year-old children that are in movies and they're going through portals Okay, you'll see that. It's crazy. And what five really is, it's crazy. Oh, my gosh. And again, five is two plus three, 23, when the children take it on the 23rd, five, July 5th, or five, July 4th and 5th, okay? It's crazy, okay? Now, watch. I want to prove this to you that this is all planned. And again, this is about the children are about to be taken because they're taken from their parents. They're going to be taken, and their parents are going to be just everybody's parents would just be unconsolable for, you know, and so the, the wonderful force is going to still be here to, for, for a time to share with them what's going on and that where their children really are. Cause that's what a loving father would do God and show, share them what's going on and then help them to try to believe so they can be with them. I mean, are you kidding me? It's crazy. Okay. So he's knocking on the door. Okay. So in the movie, this is a kind of a low quality one. I got just to show the scenes here. It's crazy. Um, this is a father. Um, I might ruin the proud a little bit, but not too much. This is a father that has two children. They're very young, very young, okay? Innocent, of course, and like the children that are going to be taken, okay? And then he, there's some kind of, uh, you know, talent agency with this lady heading it up that's like a model-looking person or whatever. And she's and there's all these kids there. And then he takes he takes them there because his daughter especially really good with music and stuff. And just showing in the beginning of the movie, she's doing some kind of music with drums and stuff like that, um, kind of a drum beat and everything like that. And then so he brings them there, and then she, they say, oh, come back, and we're going to go through testing and do all this other stuff and take pictures and all that. Come back at 7. By the way, that's July. July is 7. I'll come back at 7. And then he basically comes back, knocks on the door, and the door just, just as he's knocking on a heart, it just comes open, and there's no trace of anybody, no children, nothing. All those children were taken. And it just your heart just drops. I mean, it's... And you think, you know, a lot of people are thinking, oh, this is all good and everything. It's revealing what's going on and all that. And these people are heroes. No, this was delayed for five years on purpose to just be revealed right before it's about to happen. You'll see whether it's this time or in a few months or sometime this year that's actually going to happen. It's a short time before it's actually going to happen. And then just so you know, and the Lord's made this super clear to me by statistics and the stuff he's impressed upon me, this last five years, now this... <laughs> Uh, when I think about it more, I mean, I my last oh man, it angers me so much. <laughs> the last five years have been the the most trafficking in history, and it even shows that in this movie. It says that we're at a point now which is the most slavery in history. But in this last five years, they've really ramped it up, 
and the ex sex trafficking and all that stuff, the sex slavery of children, it's just gone off the charts. In five years, it has gone, and they have turned a blind eye to it. The public in, in mass, and there's no movies about it, and everything. All these freaking oh man, oh pedophiliacs, significations, whatever. <laughs> Oh man, it just because they're all over. They're everywhere in the media. They they run the media. They own it. Everything else, and they're not going to allow that. And so you think you really think that they're going to allow something like this until it's very until the very last possible second? Yeah, right. If you understand, I know evil, and I've been around evil enough, and I know evil enough to know what they how they think. Unfortunately, but I do. That's why I do this stuff. That's why the Lord has commissioned me to do this stuff because I know it. I've been in it. I know it. And it's it's so bad, and I can I can see how they think. It's crazy. It's bad. So 204 is the 204th day of the year, July 23rd, like I showed earlier. In the knowing, it's it's match. It's match. The children being taken. Knowing was 204. Remember uh, 100, 161, and it was upside down, backwards 191. Okay, it's all there. This is so crazy. Okay, so and then watch this. This is not very good. This is horrible quality. Okay, the colors off and everything. But I remember it was a maroon door. Now, the, the Lord's, I, I was told when I was in uh, graphic design, uh, when I, I went to graphic design for college, and I was told by my one of my teachers that, oh, you have color memory. You're the rare person that has color memory. And I'm like, I have color memory? He's like, yeah, you remember colors. You can remember even the exact hue of colors and stuff like that because he saw from different things I did. And I'm like, wow. He goes, even... Uh, first of all, men or guys in the first place a lot of times have color blindness or whatever. But you're like the one of the rare persons of male or female that have color memory. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. I can remember colors, and so that's true. I can remember almost exact color of something later, um, the way it looks and match it or whatever. Um, pretty much every single time. And this is uh, this is a maroon door, and it shows it kind of orangish here, orangish red here, but it's really maroon. So maroon door, watch this. This is tripping. Again, this is the door or the gate or the portal that's going to open up, and then the children are going to be taken. They love doing gates, doors, portals, uh, doors, a uh, big thing, big thing. Okay, so watch. What's 128? The 128th day of the year is 5-8. 5-8 is also July, the fifth month, eighth day, which is the reported day, the 26, 2 plus 6, is the reported death day of CQBO. Again, they like to do birth and death together. Um, so that's 5-8. So that's the 128th day of the year with, brace yourselves, 237 days left over. Are you kidding me? That's room 204, which is 23rd of July, and that 204th day of the year is 230. And we have this this day of the year, um, 128 day of the year, which is 5A, and 237 days left over right there. Now watch, what what is this? Oh, man, this is crazy. Not only that, these two together are four, uh, 722, 2023. I'm just going to keep going with that. It's crazy. 7, uh, 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 uh. Anyway, it's crazy. Okay, now watch. Um, what's 142? The 142nd day of the year is what? 522. Again, death and birth. Birth is... July, well, he's the fifth month, 22nd. And July 8th is his reported day, death day on the 26th. 26th, 22nd. Birth, death. And then, so watch this, brace yourselves. The 142nd day of the year is 500, or May 22nd with 223 days left over. Look at this. Crazy. This is impossible for this to match up. 204, the 204th day of the year is 23rd of July, 2023, in 2023. It's This is nuts. There's no way this could work. This is so programmed, it's not even funny. This is off the charts impossible. Look at this, the exact day. And that's then uh, 23rd of July is the 204th day of the year. Are you kidding me? And then look at this. What does this remind you of? 237, door 237. You have the little five-year-old child at the door. Of shine. This is the shining. Okay, this is Danny. Oh my gosh. Anyway, there's so much with Danny, Danny Torrance. Uh, there's so much in this whole thing. I could go on for again, shining for three hours. Uh, this sound of freedom for three hours. I could do video on every scene, every scene, every person, every actor. It's great. I'm gonna show share some of that. So there's Danny at the door, right? The children are about to be taken. It's he's five. Okay, boom. Danny Torrance. Watch this. What's 199? The 199th day of the year is, again, there's July 18th, the first day, July 18th, or the pre date, 718. What's 204? What I just showed you. 204, the 204th day of the year is 23rd of July, right there. 
Boom, 23rd of July. Bam, bam, bam. What's 6 2? Again, in Roman calendar, it's August 2nd. The sign and declaration of independence, August 2nd. Boom, boom, boom. First, last, and the 23rd in the, within the first uh, eight days. Crazy. There you go. It keeps happening. And so the room room two before he knocks on it, it opens, the children are gone, this door opens, and boom, all craziness inside, okay? Again, there's a monster in there, there's different things. Uh, So the monster in this is, there's a woman that looks like she's something, and and he's like, yeah, and then it's a zombie. Okay, what a shock. Zombies equated to 723. So the 4th and 5th day, 22nd, 23rd. What a shock. Okay, and then there, here's a scene right here um, in, that, uh, well, this is um, a, a poster, part of a poster that was in Europe, I think even in the UK or something, maybe most of Europe. The tide of terror swept America is here, and that's all the Dramantra for 722 as well. <coughs> Crazy. Okay, in this scene, what I want to say about this before he breaks through, he she's in there with Danny. Again, he's an innocent child. And then there's a window in this bathroom that she's in. And there's snow on the outside, right? Um, which is uh, like an iPad go. Anyway, there's a lot of things going on with that. Um, there's a lot of things I can explain. I just don't have time. Um, so she opens a window and he gets out, but it's too small for her. So the innocent child goes through the portal and to safety he's out there in safety and she's in there dealing with the terror so um, parents are going to be here dealing with the terror that's coming in the tribulation and this transition and the children are going to be taken out to safety so that's that shows that there again okay and then she's here to deal with johnny and again johnny begins the terror and that's johnny being john, donald donald john johnsel's trumples okay trumple John, John, all the Johns in movies, okay, which is, sorry, it's Jack. Jack is John, okay? Jack Torrance, which is this guy, is John, okay? Remember Jack Kennedy? They called him, oh, hey, I knew Jack Kennedy when he was, uh, yeah. That's John F. Kennedy's Jack. Jack. For some reason, Jack is another name for John. It doesn't make any sense to me, but there's probably some reason for it, and I'm sure it has to do with Jamach as well. Okay, so Johnny, well, that's why he says, here's Johnny, Right? Okay, so because he's Jack and Jack is Johnny. So, but here's Johnny is saying, here's Donald Johnny Trumple, okay, because he kicks off this eight plus eight days. And then also, he kicks off the second eight days on the 26th because he he dies in uh, Manhattan's, and that's why he's indicted. He was indicted in Manhattan's because that's where it's going to happen. I told, I said that years ahead of time. I said he's going to be in Manhattan's. Um, he's going to be forced to, he's going to be in Manhattan's and he's going to die in Trumple Tower, okay, because that's what the programming shows. Oh, so much programming I've used. I mean, even on Jimmy Kimmel, they showed a stack of books with Trumple's book on top, or a book about Trumple on top, and it was 50, it was 58 books, <laughs> and then it toppled over. <laughs> it was like Trumple Tower's 58 floors, and then he, they toppled it over on Jimmy Kimmel. It was like, that's one of a thousand things I've seen about this, hundreds of things. It's crazy. Thousands is a little exaggerated. I like to exaggerate to make a point, but literally hundreds of things I've seen on this to prove this point. Okay, people out there, there's a lot of people out there that do this kind of stuff on videos, and well, not all the stuff I do, but they'll say, oh, the rap, uh, A plus B equals rapture. No, no, it doesn't. Or A plus B plus C equals the end of the world, or e, you know, A plus B plus C equals the rapture and the end of the world, or whatever, or whatever. No, it doesn't. Um, hundreds and hundreds of things that verify each other and over, overall thousands of things that you know work with each other and stuff and make a web of information or a puzzle without with some look at about a missing pieces make a possibility of the future okay that's that's the truth that's not what you know so people are they, they want people to believe or their their dream is going to be the future or whatever i mean listen i had dreams i've had dreams like anybody's had dreams and visions and stuff incredible incredible okay but i said to the lord i don't want people to believe in my dreams because who will and it's my word against what they know i mean are you kidding well who's going to believe me i want you to and i told them early on i want if i'm going to share this with people i've got to be able to prove it to some degree somehow some way with my limited ability prove it and so he showed me gematria he showed me symbols and all this stuff that's in these things to show that this is coming from all the crappy horrible things i've been shown I mean, of course, he's shown me all kinds of amazing stuff. I mean, I've seen Jesus in his glorified body in, in a dream when I was 21. I mean, and I, he told me he was going to come and get me. And 
and uh, oh my gosh, you know, oh man, it's crazy. So anyway, let's keep going. So again, Danny goes out the portal, and then he's five, or all these five-year-olds and stuff, uh, or five, you know, it's delayed five years of sound of freedom. Right, right. Five is. 42 is deep, deep like the Antichrist is going to reign for 42 months. It's also two fours, which is four, 44. And he's also born on six months. We get rid of the nine, and he had nine two days the same. Six months and 22 days into two three, because five is two three. Six months and 22 days into 23 is uh, July 22nd, 23, 2023. Okay, there you go, bam. And another five year old, Carol Ann in Poltergeist. Okay, and the famous saying, they're here. I remember years ago, a lot of people said that, and everybody knew what it was, very iconic, and so, they're here. Okay, that's the monsters from another dimension, okay? And that's who's coming. There's going to be monsters from another dimension that's going to come on the fifth day, which is the 23rd, I believe, very, very possibly, and the last day, which is the aliens that are going to show up, okay, who are really dem demons in flesh suits that are printed up on three-story printers in the middle of CERN, in the ground, in the mi middle area of CERN. And I know researchers that have found all this stuff, that there's literally evidence of all this stuff, that CERN is opening portals, and then they're going to open an ultimate portal over Hawaii. Once they destroy it with the tsunami on the 11th and 12th day, they're going to destroy the cap of the abyss, which is Hawaii. They're going to put a portal opening right there, and then it's going to come, it's going to be a water gate, a water gate. And they're going to open a water gate uh, for sure off the coast of Florida. For example, there was Super Bowl 54 in Miami and Super Bowl 55 in Tampa Bay. Right in between those two areas, there's going to be a portal off the coast opened up. And again, 5-4 is July 4th. 5-5, five, five, Super Bowl 55 in Tampa Bay is 5-5. Five, five. Right in between those is 7-4 and 7-5 or 7-22 and 7-23. And there's going to be a portal right there. And then I there's one particular lady, even though, again... You, you add things to a puzzle to make the whole puzzle. To add one piece of puzzle, there's this wonderful Christian lady that said that she had a, this crazy dream where she was in Fort Myers, which is right in between Miami and um, and Tampa Bay with the two Super Bowls were 54 and 55, which was really 74 and 75, which was 722 and 723. And she said she saw all these monsters and these uh, giants coming out of the water onto the beach. They were on the beach and during the beach and, and Fort Myers, they were coming out of the water onto the beach. Um, alien attack, alien invasion, I'm telling you. And I have so much to support that from so many different things in, in predictive programming and media. It's crazy. So she says, they're here. What is that? First letter code, TH, which is August 2nd when the so-called good aliens showed up in, in demons and flesh suits, okay? 282. And then when the bad demons, or the bad aliens so-called come, that's on 5-5 or Super Bowl 55 in Miami, okay? Off the coast of Florida, like I said. And that's 5 is the fifth month, July on the Roman calendar, and then 5 is hiding 2 plus 3, okay? I'm telling you, this is... This is uncanny how this all matches. So then she goes through a portal through the television. And she's, and they're like, Caroline, where are you going? And you can hear her voice and stuff like that. And well, which is not the case. Well, that won't be the case. They like to, you know, have some lies mixed with truth, of course. But they have to show the truth that she's gone. She's out of the way. And um, and then these these creatures come through their, um, into their house, through you know, in a particular room and all that kind of stuff. And then she's somewhere else. She's somewhere else, Okay. That's what they're showing, okay? The children, she's five, and Danny Torrance is five. And five is the same as the portal day. I mean, like I just showed you, it's crazy. And then Poltergeist, check this out. Again, death and birth of the Antichrist. You have the 146th day of the year, and English Journal just happens to meet, meet Jewish, which is 146th day of the year is 526. So page 26 is the 146th day of the year. And then again, July is the fifth month, 26, like I said, 726 is Antichrist, and that's his reported death day on July the fifth month in the Roman calendar, 26. And then we have right here, we have 1 plus 7 is 8. August 2nd is when he's reborn to the world, okay? And that's the 214th day of the year with 151 days left over. See how this works? These all relate together in so, so many ways a lot of times. Okay, now this is crazy. In Sound of Freedom, there's so many things. Like I said, I could do a three-hour video on all these connections. I mean, Tim Ballard, literally, Tim Ballard is... Um, 722.23 and then Ballard, or Tim is 722.23 and then Ballard is 722. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, 723, 722.23 and then Ballard is 722. So literally 23 is in the middle and 22 is on one side and 23 is on the other side. His his name. And I, I there would just be too much to show because it's not, 
I had anyway, these are a little bit simpler and I couldn't show every single thing because I it'd be a five hour video. So, but look at Heap Tim Ballard is, the, is supposedly the real guy, even though he's a plant anyway. Um, and he's the hero, he's a real hero guy, right? Played by Jim Caviezel, and then Tim Ballard's and real life's wife is played by Mira Sorvino, okay, supposedly, right? But look at Jim, and Fibonacci is always so unique and amazing, he's got some unique qualities about it. pull it out here and there. Fibonacci, it, there's no reverse to it because it's the Fibonacci sequence that all these numbers are on it. But for example, look, J is 55, M is 233, and they're all on the Fibonacci scale. It's so crazy. But look, Jim is 322, and it's also in Fibonacci. Caviezel, his last name, is 719. So backwards, 719, 2023 20, is Jim Caviezel. Okay, are you kidding me? The first day? That's a coincidence? No, now I'm going to add more to this. His birth name James Patrick Caviezel just happens to be 72237. Like the shining door, like what I showed you that the room that the, the guy in his movie was knocking on when the children were taken is 204. The 204th day of the year is 23rd of July. Ker, please. Okay. Now, watch this. This is a stunner right here. If you don't see this, I don't know what to say to you. I mean, watch. Again, there's his birth name, Jim James Patrick Caviezel Jr. Okay. Now, watch. First letter code. Are you ready for this? First letter code is, oop, oop, is P, is, is 16, 1 plus 6 is 7. Then we have J and J for James and Junior, and J is 10, so we have 10 and 10 is 20. I'm going to show it 2 here, but I'm going to say it like 20, because it is, 20, 10 and 10 is 20. And then C is 3. His first letter code is 723. 723 room 204 is july 23rd are you kidding me and it keeps going i literally i could show you i could show you i found like 50 of these in this movie at least 50 at least 50 and i could go even farther because i haven't i didn't even go through the whole movie okay i fit at least 50 and they're stark and they're me now watch this want to get mind blown if you understand this, now, if you don't understand this, I'm sorry. And a lot of people don't understand numbers like I do, of course, and I get that. That's why I try to go step by step. But watch this. Watch last letter code. This is insane. So keep in mind, last letter code is S-K-L-R. S is 19, K is 11, L is 12, R is 18. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to combine the S with the first 1 and the 11 and K. Because that's how they do this. A little bit of a hidden thing. So S is 19, okay, S is 19, and the 1 in 11 in K, just one of the 11, 1 in the 11 is, one of the 11, one of the ones in 11, <laughs> so 19 plus 1 is 20, now watch, the other 1 in, oh wow, the other 1 in 11 in K is right there, plus 1 in 2 in 12, and 1 in 8 is 13, now it's not reduced enough, or it's not um, compressed enough, that compresses down, 13 compresses down to 4, look at this, do you remember the the guy in Sound of Freedom was his father? He, he was knocking on 204. The 204th day of the year is 723. Do you get this? And look, look at his name. Look at what they equal. And it's far more than this. It's far more than this. Like this. But you say, oh, but this is a good guy. He's the good, he's the exception to the rule. He's a good guy in Hollywood. Jim Caviezel played Jesus in Passion of the Christ. So he's a good guy. Is he really? Is he? No, I've seen all kinds of pictures with him covering up one eye and have one eye shown. Um, the one eye symbolism. Same with Mel Gibson, who did Passion of the Christ. Passion of the Christ is 7 22, 23, without showing everything. Okay, but it is. I can. I guarantee it. Okay, I've done it. Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. His servants also disguise themselves as servants of righteousness. And why wouldn't it be him? Why wouldn't it be someone in Hollywood? Why wouldn't it be someone who fakes? Like Trumpel, like I've said a thousand times, Trumpel, I said five years ago and all up to now, he would be the Trojan horse for Christians and conservatives. And that's already played out to be true in one huge aspect. Um, what is that? The hokey pokey. If he had, if it, if that was Hillary, if people, if she became president, if Hillary Clinton, if Hillary Clinton became president, then the hokey pokey would have been denied by Christian conservatives because they knew it would be a plot. But because it came by the someone they trust, so-called, most of them, okay, then it was, you know, I mean, are you kidding me? Operation Warp Speed? No, I mean, seriously, seriously, he is, and it's going to come to even more fruition soon 
in this time frame because he's going to come by, come out and say, oh, people get all excited. And it could be the Kennedy thing, like I said. The, the numbers there are crazy. And, and it could be also, or it could be an announcement of the Ukraine deal or something like that. Like, the Ukraine deal. Okay, like he said, or whatever. It doesn't, whatever, okay? But it's going to be something like that. And then it's, and then his death is going to knock the legs out of the conservatives. And he's going to be possibly blamed for World War III and all his followers. And then people are going to go after the Christians and conservatives. There's going to be something that's going to make them go after them and blame them for World War III. And Trump was probably in the center of that. And that's where a lot of the evidence and symbols show. Okay, so watch. Watch. You'll see. Okay, and then check this out. I'm just going to see. look at this. See? This, this is this guy, okay, secret societies, huge secret societies in this group, huge, huge, and he is a member, I'm telling you, the Lord told me, okay, um, recently, recently, not when I was watching the movie, a little bit after that, very serious, and then I found this, and I was like, oh my gosh, of course, I found it because he told me that, because I looked it up after he told me, and I looked, boom, there it is, okay, so we literally have Caviezel's, Caviezel's is, Caviezel's, <laughs> Caviezel's, okay, and Ballard's, okay, in um, Catholicism's and Mormonism's, okay, and they're not in the real Christianity, okay? What a coincidence. Is that a coincidence? No, neither one of those are are real Christianity. So many parts of them deny the basic message of what Christianity is. They add and they rip away the the what the key elements of what it means to know Christ. I mean, they do. They do. They just absolutely do. Sorry, but it's true. And I'm not talking about individuals. Okay, I'm not talking about individuals. They can they do what they do, and that's between them and the Lord. And some I've met different people in different versions of these, and they're actually pretty decent people. And and it's up to the Lord to judge their heart and where they're at. And even if they're born, I I know they're out there. I know I know I've met some um, Catholicism, whatever that were born again. I know I have, uh, not very many, but I know I have. I've felt their spirit. I know their spirit, um, and all that. So say what you want, ultra religious people out there. You know, believe what you want, but I, you know, I don't judge individuals. I'm looking at the establishment of the these two uh, religions and saying what what's that is. That, yeah, it's not good, not good. Okay, and that the fact that these two are part of it, yeah, yeah, it's evidence itself. Now look at this. This is a girl. If you watch the movie, the girl is super young, and this this is she's almost six years older <laughs> than in the movie. It's crazy. But look, September twenty second. And then 2 plus 8 is 10, and that's 1. Two, 22 plus 1 is 23, and September 7, 7, 22, 23, right there. And she was a main character in the movie, a little girl that was taken, okay? And then he, Tim Ballard's got to go get her, okay? And then this is the director of the movie. Look, July 13, which is July 4, which is hiding 22. Are you kidding me? And then 1, and then that is 5. 7 plus 7 is 14, 1 plus 4 is 5, which is 23. July 4 and 5, or 22nd, 23rd, 5 is 23. Are you kidding me? And then here's Mira Sorvino. September, oh, September 7 again. Wow, me imagine that. You have 1 here, 2 plus 8 is 10, take away, uh, take away the 0, 1. And the rule of call, you can take away 1, and then anything you add, 9, 2 stays the same. So we get rid of that. And then we have 6 plus 7 is 13. 1, 1, 3 is 2, 3. So we have September 7, 23. Bam. Now, this is this. Let me preface this. These three I mentioned right here are are not unique, but they are unique in a sense, a sense because they all have these numbers. But watch this. These three, there's probably more, but I just I haven't got to them, all of them uh, that were in the movie. But these three, right away, I found it right away, all have this these numbers right here. Now, the, again, this is reverse ordinal, and times six is reverse English Sumerian. So that's the relationship these two have. So that's why they'd be together. That's why you put them together, okay? So that that girl, Mira Sorvino, and the director, they're all unique in this, that they have a date of 1776. And I was talking about the signing of the Declaration of Independence on, uh, on uh, August 2nd. And if you get rid of the nine, like I said, anything at nine Tuesday is the same. August is the sixth month in the Roman calendar. Second, August 2nd, 1776. And they all three have this. This is so off the charts. I can't even tell you. I mean, I would break this down. This would be quadrillions to one. I mean, past that. Past that. I mean, I don't know what it is. I mean, I already broke down one that was like uh, 70, uh, was like 71 trillion to one or whatever. And because it, it was in several gematrias. 
Um, and just in one, just to have two Jumantras match, or basically just one in a sense, because one six times the other, so their events the, in in a sense the same, but one six times the other. Okay, but to have that match is in the quadrillions or something. It's just off the charts. Look at the difference in their names and all these letters. The fact that these would match the exact of this, and then they would all be the second of August seventeen seventy six, proving my point of the last day of the United States and the first day of the United States. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Hope you understand that. This is mind blowing. Okay, back to the future. Boom. Back to the future. Watch this. Boom. Okay, we have um, seven. Okay, we have one. Uh, sorry, one, and then seven plus six is thirteen. One thirteen, and then we're going to take two away from this side over here. Again, take two away from two two nine. It was two two seven. We added over here. This is how they do this. Somebody just take two and bring it over here. Seven twenty two twenty twenty three. Boom. Okay. And then we have a lot of people, uh, some people have found this where um, this is upside down and backwards, 911. Okay. So they think, oh, this, this was in 1985. And then, so, you know, it's predicting 911. Yes. Okay. Sure. Why, why not? But ultimately the, the event that happened in 91 and then one, 2001. Okay. Um, is not, is not the ultimate thing. That's still predictive program of what's coming. And I'm going to show you that. And it's even right here. It's right in front of your face. So again, it went from two towers to one towers Okay. But that's going to be two. That represents two, um, forces like good and evil in a sense on the, uh, chessboard, black and white going to one, one world, one world freedom tower. <laughs> And then this is no coincidence. That this is a pyramid right here. So treat this pyramid, and it's a green. It's got levels. See the levels right there. The top one is an I is a pyramid on the top. Okay, that's like the green pyramid on the back of the dollar bill because the dollar bill is green. Okay, and you have the I and the pyramid on, at the top here, and because that's what it's going to be. It, the, the, this dude's going to be on the top. Okay, and with one world government, one lone world government, lone world religion. Lone world dictator. Okay, one. <laughs> Take the L off loan, you got one. And that's what it means. Loan is one by itself. Okay, so what's hidden here? There's uh, several things, but watch this. So, what this really means, not this necessarily upside down and backwards, what this really means is the ultimate um, event. Watch. One, one plus one is two and six, like I showed you earlier. Remember in their names uh, and those actors and actresses' names and the director. Two, six. 2nd of August, the second sixth month on the Roman calendar. And then right here, what's this? We've seen 133 a few times, and we're, all, we're going to see it a few more times. That's not only 7, which is 2 plus 2 plus 3, but also the 133rd day of the year um, has 232 days left over. What is this hiding right there? It's hiding that. It's that, and it's hiding, it's hiding that. Okay? So we literally have, between these two, 2nd of August, 2023, is the real nine one and then one okay the ultimate now again each day is a version of that and i'm gonna show you some examples like it did how seven i'm gonna show you how seven two two is that oh, i already did because nine two or two nine is um take away two from nine and you got seven two two so two nine is one one nine or nine one 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 okay i showed that earlier on rabbit or whatever or no white or whatever it was okay now let's keep going more evidence of that is in this by itself. Then the, here again, I show multiple evidence of the same thing. I don't, don't just say, "Hey, this is what it is," or give you one thing. I give you multiple things. So watch this again. This is two six. Oh, sorry, one one six. A is one. M is thirteen. Now let's put it together. Two six, two three. Second uh, of August, twenty twenty three. Bam. And there's even more support right here. Right here we have, it says Dr. E. Brown Enterprises. Dr. E. Brown Enterprises is 247. What is 247? That's 247 years. So from the signing of the Declaration of Independence that's coming, that, that happened on August 2nd, 1776, like those actor and actress and director's names, okay, from that date to this date, 2nd of August 2023, is 247 years. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm proving it. Sorry. And then what's 266? I'll show you. Now, in one of the next scenes coming up, Marty is recording what Doc Brown's exper his experiment of time travel. Okay, so, and then he says, the first thing he says, it's Saturday morning. And then he says more about the date and everything like that. But Saturday morning, look, it's 247. 247 years, 247 years from the signing, signing, to, signing from the first 
to the the first day of the United States to the end of the United States. 247, August 2nd to August 2nd. I'm telling you, and then this is in code, of course, August 2nd being the sixth month. <coughs> August being the sixth month. Now look how these relate. Look, this is, not only is this September 23rd, another date as opposed to August 2nd, that's inside this time frame, uh, September, which is 723, but se the actual September 23rd is the 266th day of the year. Or 723 is 666. How is it 666? Two sixes and one six. 666 is 723. Okay, and one of his birth dates, 666. And all these other ones are all 666 too, and it's uh, without explaining all that. So again, so let me go to the scene. Again, I could have every single scene, but it would take hours to do all this stuff. This is already taking way too much time. Okay, it's Saturday morning. That was what I just showed you over here. Saturday morning. That's how these two. 247 years, are you kidding me? Proving this date. Haha, <laughs> man. And then he says, October 26, 1985, 1 a.m. So there it is. It's completely spelled out in Gematria right here. Completely spelled out. And this is, again, Fibonacci. So there's no forward and reverse. It's just forward. Now watch. This is 7, 4, or July 4th, 20, and then 5 is 2 and 3. July 4th, 2023, or July 2, 2, 22, 22nd, 2023. Right there. Okay? There it is. Bam. And then we even have 9, 4, or again, September 4, or September 7, 4, plus 1. They love doing that. Or September 22nd, or, or 7, 20, 22, plus 1, 23. It's all in everything. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Okay, so what what's 118 and 119? Of course, well, of course 119 is 9, 1, and then 1. The notorious 9, 1, and then 1. I have to say it in code, because if I don't, then I'm going to get these all these kind of Al Gore rhythms that are going to block me or even remove my channel my move my video or cha or stop my channel that they, they do that all the time and they just did that to me so i'm gonna redo this video okay make sure i don't say anything that's too out of code okay so but what does 811 and 911 have in common now i'm gonna show you boom nine one and then one is eight months and 11 days into the year so when you go th go all the way through august being eight months then 11 days into September's is 9, 1, and then 1. So that's how they relate. Plus, 8, 1, 1 is a code for a couple things. 8, 1, 1 is 8, 2. 1, 1 is 2. Again, August 2nd, signed the Declaration of Independence, first and last day of the United States. And then 8, 11 is also August 11th, the 223rd day of the year. So if you look at it, these two ways, that is the last day of the United States. Okay, this is crazy. Okay, what is, what is so crazy? I remember a few years ago, um, August 11th was a big deal. It was all over the place a few years ago. Okay, and I think it was in, um, it might have been 20, I can't remember what year, but you had Gilbert Godfrey saying, stay off the Golden Gate Bridge on August 11th, and all this stuff, you know, and there was this death figure over the Golden Gate Bridge that was in social media and all this kind of stuff. Okay, and because it's showing secretly that this is in the year, and then we also have stuff here with the, the actual day that this is going to happen. Why? Because 8-11 or 9-11 is also, okay, what's, and I'm going to show you this to you in a little bit, um, but I, before I forget, to equate these two, the Golden Gate Bridge, because he was talking about the Golden Gate Bridge, because this is 7, okay, September uh, 1 and 1, right? So that's 7-11, okay? And the 29th is going to be the tsunami day, or 2 plus 9 is 11. So 7-11 is 7-29, and the tsunami day is going to hit the Golden Gate Bridge and destroy it. And so that's why 8-11 is 9-1-1 and 7-1-1, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so then in another scene after that one that we just saw, there's Doc Brown saying to Marty, he says, My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious shiitake mushrooms. <laughs> okay, anyway, and then that's nine, that's two things. That's nine, one, and then one, get rid of the one. So nine, one, one, which is upside down and backwards, two, six, okay? Or it's also nine, get rid of the one with rule of nine, nineteen, the first day, September 7, 19. Okay, then it's also, when you put these two together, now wait, I want to say this. How do I arrive at this? Well, because in the, um, in the, uh, the, um, wording or the, uh, <laughs> Well, what do you call it? I'm trying to say, um, and the, um, ah, what do you, t I can't think of what you call it, whatever. It says, literally says, it, t t um, 
uh, according or it says uh, if it says he it says if my calculations are correct, but he actually says if you listen to him, he says my calculations are correct, and then he doesn't say going to see some serious stuff. He says gonna. So when you get those right, you get two two six or one one two six. So you take the one from over here and add it here. You have two two seven. And then you have 133. Remember when it was Lone Pine Mall, it was 133 in the morning. There it is again, 133, which is really either 1 plus 3 plus 3 is 7. 7 is high in 223. Two, or that's 4, 3, which is 223. Two, three. Or the 133rd day of the year with 232 two days left over. And that's also 223. Two, three. So 722, 223 two, two, right there. Um, I can't think of the word. God, I, 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 a little brain fart here. Um, the uh, subtitles. Oh, my gosh. Subtitles. So the subtitles um, are on, and it literally says, if my calculations are correct, but he literally just says, my calculations are correct. Okay. So you got to know those little things for the gematria and stuff like that. So anyway, he points to this circuit, the time, the time circuits here, and we have, oh, just like Donnie Darko. Wow. Imagine that. October 26th. It's in different movies about time. Uh, for example, Interstellar comes out, came out on October 26th, and it's about time travel. Okay. Um, there's other movies that that about that came out uh, have October 26, which is really again Octo is really eight, and then two six is one one six or seven one eight backwards or eight one seven and seven is twenty twenty three. Another proof that seven is twenty twenty three is nineteen eighty five. One plus nine plus eight plus five is twenty three, and so all these are this. They're either there's seven one eight being the seven eighteen the first day or eight one seven which is 2023, proven by 1985, 1 plus 9 plus 8 plus 5 is 23. Okay, so that's what they all are. And then we have the time here, and that's 121, okay? But 0 is hiding O, and O is 15 or 6. So 6 plus 1 is 7, July 21st, okay? But the reason I have it as 7, 3 is because Back to the Future came out on July 3rd. So did iPad Goat on YouTube came out on July 3rd, which is hiding July 21st. And the reason why they're dealing with plutoniumsels is because there's going to be a nuxels on July 23rd, 21st in Ukrainesels. And somehow that equates to Libya. I'm not sure. There's something there I haven't found. I feel like the Lord's telling me that and I haven't had time to check it out. But there's something with that or with terrorism or something like that that has something to do with it, okay? I don't know. And then we have O again, which is six, and so one is seven. We have 722. Again, there is 722, 721. That's the first attack that's out of the United States. This is the first attack in the United States, 22, 23. And then we have um, seven, and then two, and then o, o is backwards, 15 is 51. So two, five, which is CBO's death. Again, birth, or birth, death, plus one. So 725 plus one. There it is, right there. I'm telling you. Another example, he's, he goes... The Libyans! He said, who's looking for you? Whatever. Oh, I can't believe they found me. He's like, who found you? The Libyans! And then look, 722, 2 and 5 is 23. Right there. Boom. See? And notice how all these are 711. Again, he's born on 711. 7, 2 plus 9 is 11. So we have that in everything. These all reduced to 711. Ultimately, ultimately, it's about the day he's born. He's actually born, not the other birthdays, which are symbolic, like the first day, the fourth and fifth day, um, and that kind of thing. And even the last day is his rebirth um, to the world. But the day he's actually born, lightning falls from heaven, strikes his dead body, and that's Satan falling, and that's Barack Obama, lightning from heaven, and it enters his dead body. Satan actually incarnates his body, and that is 729 or 711. That's why all these 711s. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, Boom. Or, same thing, he says, what do you think? Bolivians! Okay, same thing. It's also, 1 plus 6 is 7. Then we got 23, 7, 23. And then 8 plus 4 is 12 and 3. So what are we missing? Just take 1 from there. 7, 22, take away 1 the th one from the 23. It makes it 22. And add it right there, 2, 2, 3. 7, 22, 20, 23. That's how they do this. I'm telling you. And it doesn't matter how you do it. If it's just living by itself, it's the whole thing. It's all 7, 22. I'm, you'll see if you tried it. If you ever tried it or I'm just telling you. And then look, watch this. So we got white and blue right here. See, white and blue. White and blue. Seven. Remember the director was born on seven thirteen or whatever. Seven thirteen, um, seven four, and then we have 
um, 2 and then 1 plus 4 is 5, or 2, 23. 7, 4, or 7, 22, 20, 23. And then, or we have a blue and white, blue and, blue and white Volkswagen van. However you do it, it's different ways. And I'm just doing something different and using English Standard on some of these, these, a few of these, just to show you how it's also in these as well. So watch. Um, blue, blue and white Volkswagen van. Seven, so we have two, seven, three plus eight is 11, one plus one is two, so seven, two, two, and then right here, seven is two plus two plus three. Simple, okay. And then even Volkswagen van chasing DeLorean, okay. Seven, two, six plus five is 11, which is two. Seven, two, two, 11, one plus one is two. Four, three, get rid of the nine. And four is two and two, three. So seven, two, two, four is two and two, three. Seven, two, two, 20, 23. Okay, it just and it's not even off by one digit. Well, not one digit either way. Okay, now then he looks at his uh, speedometer right he's a few times, but right before speedometer and or no, speedometer, odometer and tachometer or whatever you call that. Okay, um, and this is crazy. This is all planned. This is so crazy. So he's at eighty four miles an hour. He's about to go to eighty eight. This is the last time he was at it. Boom! Watch. We literally have three three zero six two seven. Now again, anything you add nine two stays the same. So we have a three and a six or nine. So we're going to get rid of that. And what do we have left over? Seven two three. And then this is zero is O. In fact, this looks like an O. Fifteen. Okay, watch. So wait. Oh, sorry. Okay, we do that. Then we have we take one from seven two three and add it over here. Seven two two twenty and then five is twenty three. I'm telling you. Now look down here. We have O is 15, really. Zero is hiding O. Seven or eight, seven, four is right there. Watch this. Fourth of July or 227, A plus 15 is 23. 227, 2023. 20, and that's a coincidence. And then we have this being right at 84 miles per hour, which is August 4th, his birthday. Birthday, birthday, birthday. Birthday is August 4th. Also, 722.23 and 722.2023. Oh, my gosh. It's all there. I'm telling you all there. And then uh, go through the portal. It crashes into, into Old Man Peabody's uh, barn. Okay. And there's so much here, too. I can talk about, and I will talk about a few things. And then um, he, the Old Man Peabody says, uh, looks like a plane without wings or something like that, which is Dematrio for that. And then this little kid says, ain't, that ain't no airplane. Look. And then shows this um, uh, comic book, and it starts starts to pan down from here, and it goes to here. So, but I'm going to show this too because you can't, can't fit this in one, hor you know, uh, horizontal slide like this. Okay, so tales from the space, whatever space zombies. Again, this time frame is um, 720, 720 is, is zombies. So that of course they have that, and then space. So they have aliens and zombies together. Space zombies, aliens and zombies together on the same day. I've told you this a thousand times, and I'm going to keep saying it hundreds of times. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, watch. So space zombies. Now, again, this is separate from the rest of this. I can, I'll do this all together, but see how this is separated here? So we're just going to do space zombies, for example. There's the 133 again, and then Lone Pine Mall at 133 in the morning. There it is again. Okay, and then we have the 191 again that was in... Uh, this these stuff keeps popping up all over the place in all these movies. One nine one was in Knowing, and it's upside down and backwards. One six one again. One six one is the two hundred fourth day of the year is seven twenty three with one hundred sixty one days left over. Again, that's seven twenty three. Two hundred fourth day of the year, one hundred sixty one hundred sixty one days left over, which is one nine one upside down and backwards. And then one three three is what? Remember, it's one hundred thirty third day of the year is has two hundred thirty two days left over, or or uh, sorry, uh, two two three. So seven twenty two twenty twenty three. Bam, and this when this kid says, ain't no airplane, look. Okay, so that's 2 plus 5 is 7, okay. 1, 3, again, the birth of that uh, director, seven, <laughs> July 13th, which is July 4th, which is July 22nd, July 13, which is 4, and then 4 is 2, 2, 3. 4 is 2, 2, and then 3. July 22nd, 2023. There it is again. It's all over. And not off by one digit. Okay, and then this came out July 8th. Which is the uh, symbol of the birth of the death of the Antichrist? The eighth day is the twenty sixth, which is the eighth day of the whole thing. Okay, um, and then this came out uh, just happened to come out this month on the eighth, and the sun um, about the DeLorean selling. Okay, time stands still. Iconic DeLorean time machine from Back to the Future sells for an eye watering price. Eye watering the portal, watering the water portal in Donnie Darko. The the d demonic rabbit hits the hits the eye, and then it kind of. It does a little ripple thing 
eye watering, eye rippling portal thing. I mean, are you kidding me? The, oh, it's just there's so much there. Time stands still. I got this whole thing right there. Watch this because because a lot of this is uppercase and this is all uppercase right here. Then we have Frank Baconis is in play, and then we also are gonna do some English Sumerian. Okay, watch. <laughs> this is so crazy. Three two o eight. Take one off there. It's three two o seven, which is seven twenty three backwards. Take that one from there. Put it over here, and we have twenty twenty two plus one is twenty three. Seven twenty three twenty twenty three. Take one off here. Put it over here. Seven twenty three twenty twenty three. And then we have seven twenty three because six plus six is twelve. One plus two is three. Seven twenty three. And then we have six here. So take one off seven twenty three. Makes it seven twenty two. Add it here. We got six one or seven. It's hiding two two three. But look at this. This is so clear. This is so clear. It's showing you 2022 backwards. Take one off here and you add it over here. 2023, 723, 2023. Are you kidding me? And then to prove that anymore, what did this sell for? It sold for in pounds 197,750, which is 19th of July, July 5th or July 23rd. 19th of July, first day. The fifth day is July 23rd, hidden right there. But it's right there. And then you even have the year in. You can take away one or take away one from here and add it to here. And you have one five or two five or two two three. Are you kidding me? It's all right there. I'm telling you. And then right here in DMC, DeLorean Motor Company Corporation, I think, something like that. DMC, DeLorean Motor Corporation. Um, is right here. And I'm going to color code this. D is 4, M is 13, C is 3. So that's 4, four and 3 is 7, 1 and 3 is 4. Boom. Oh, you, or 722. Okay, hidden. And DeLorean is um, capital DL, which is 412. And backwards is 214. 2014 day of the year is August 2nd, the signed Declaration of Independence. And then also in, in the, these, are cra these are crazy. So we have birth and death over here again. Okay, we have seven four, which is seven twenty two, and not only is one one, one four two four three because you put the one over here four three, which is two two three. It's also like I said, the hundred forty second day of the year is May twenty second, which is seven two two five two two, which is July twenty second, July being the fifth month. It also has twenty hundred forty hundred forty two has two hundred twenty three days left over. So there's hundred forty second day of the year, two hundred twenty three days left over. Also, so the, in several ways, this is two two three, and then we have. And these three combine, this happens all the time with three as well. Seven, twenty-five, and then four is two, two, twenty, twenty-three backwards. I'm telling you, it's crazy. It keeps going. And then uh, uh, Helio Font, um, iPad Goat, came out on the 24th of June, 2012. What this is in code is 246 years, two days, and 12 months. I'm telling you, you watch this. This is showing who the who this guy is. 20, 246 years from the sign of Declaration of Independence, two days and twelve months. Watch, boom, from the signing Declaration of Independence, two hundred forty six years, two days, right there, two days, take with zero, and twelve months is that, and that ends up the birth of the Antichrist, Stinky Stinky Bo, and he'll be sixty two years old. And what's sixty two again? or August being the sixth month of Roman calendar two, proving this out as well. August second is six. He'll be sixty-two, and this is how this is why it was released on this this day because it's two hundred forty-six years, two days, and twelve months later. And again, it's it's this amount of years and change. That twelve months adds another year, being two hundred forty-seven, and that's two days past the end day of August second. But the fact that his exact date, um, his exact age is going to be August 2nd hidden to most people because they don't know that 6 is August in the Roman calendar. Boom. There you go. I, I, man, this is crazy. I'm nailing it. And then here's um, George Bush, President George Bush and iPad Go, and say, iPad Go saying, shame out, shame out, shame out. And I showed that in a video about a year ago that shame on is re in reverse. If you play it backwards, it's it's August, August, August. So shame on even by itself is seven twenty two and five, which is twenty three, and then seven five. Take one off there. You got three four or two two three seven four twenty twenty three and seven two, which is seven twenty two twenty twenty three and seven twenty two twenty twenty three or twenty three. 
shame on and then backwards do yourself do this if you want to try something get an app um, on the any app store and that's uh, audio in reverse so you basically record your voice and then it, it'll play it in reverse it's just it's a easy download from any app store most of them are free and then say shame on shame on shame on and then play it backwards it'll say august 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 so that's telling you when the Antichrist is born. Literally, he's saying shame on his backwards for August. I told you they do things upside down and backwards, backwards, um, opposites, all that stuff. Okay, so even August, when he says August backwards, is the numbers as well. It's all there. I'm not going to get into it right now. I'm going to keep going, but it's all there. And then look, President George Bush is what he's playing, the character on, caricature of him right here. President George Bush is the same as those actors and the director in um, Sound of Freedom, which is the 2nd of August, 1776. And the first day is September 7, 19. The pre day is 718, technically, and then September 19th is the first day, technically, being the one. Okay, but September 19th is also 2nd of August. So the first day is the last day. August August 2nd, give her the 9th, 1776. Look at that. Look how those match. Impossible those to match. Lord, let me. And how would I find those? How do I find those in a sea, in an in, in infinite sea of stuff? How do I find all this stuff? I found so much stuff because of the Lord Jesus who deserve every bit of credit. I, I don't deserve any credit. He is the genius. Jesus the genius is the key to business. All I do is listen. All I'm trying to do is submit myself to him and listen. That's all you need to do is submit yourself to him. Don't run ahead of him and listen and do what he says. And that's the key to the universe. That is, If you want to know the key to life, the key to the universe, and everything that God has set up, just stop and listen to what Jesus says. Get good at listening and do what he says and brave whatever it is that you don't like and whatever, and you will get there. You will get to the best place he could ever put you that is possible for yourself. And do yourself a favor and don't doubt like I've doubted at times, but then I've gotten better and better and better. Do yourself a favor. Don't be afraid. Just walk right through. Like at first I was afraid, and then I just started. It reminds me of the scene in Indiana Jones' Last Crusade where he sees this big ravine or this big, huge you know, drop off and he got to get to the other side and he's like, but he believes that there must be a path across and it shows that he can step across, or he can go across and he steps out and he, and his foot goes down. There's nothing there and he and foot lands on something and it seems, it's, a, and it's an illusion. There is something there. It just looks like it's not there and his foot just lands and then he can walk across. That's how it is. You got to step out. You got to let go of the ledge off your fingertips and just let go and he will catch you. And most people are too afraid to do that in so many aspects of their lives. You you must, you must, you must. It's what God commands you to do. It's what Jesus in the Bible commands you to do, to trust him. What does it say in Proverbs that transcends Old Testament and New Testament? Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. That's what it is. And then, you know, even in more detailed in the New Testament, it says, my sheep hear my voice. I, you know, people say, oh, I use the an analogy or the, um, you know, the example of, oh, people cast out demons. In, we cast out demons in your name and we do all this stuff. And we heal people, all this stuff. Yes, but you did not know me. And when he shut the door to the um, foolish virgins, he let in the wise virgins, he shut the door to George shut the door of the foolish virgins. By the way, the virgins, all, all sets of virgins knew who he was. They were Christians. They knew who he was. People who are not Christians don't know who he is, okay? And they don't believe in, believe in him. Both sets of virgins are example of Christians. Some that are foolish, they just do whatever they want. And then he shut the door to them. And what did, they, what did he say to them? I'm not letting you in because you don't know me. Again, again, you don't know me. The requirement is knowing him. Not just believing he's your savior, treating him like he's your master and he's your lord and acting like it not just mentally assenting to the idea and then doing your own thing like most of christianity does especially american christianity which i'm just uh and i know it very well because i've been in so many churches over the years i met so many different people and most of them are like that it's 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 sad it's really sad they don't walk it out I do, i've done my best to walk it out the best i possibly can and that's why i'm doing what i am here and that's all i can do i'm not propping myself up at all i'm saying that's jesus is it if i i know only just like paul said i only know him and and him crucified that's it. I know him and him crucified. That's it. I don't even know all this complicated stuff. If I know that and I know him, 
then and I know he was actually crucified and he is who he says he is, then that's it. And I'll do what he says and that's all I need. And that's all you need. It's no more complicated than that. It's not easy, <laughs> but it's not complicated. Never said it would be easy. He said we go through similar stuff that he did because you know he went through it first and he, you know he he because he, he's so hated and that's a key if you're that's a good thing i've been gone through so much hard stuff because i'm that's a key showing that i'm doing the right thing and that's actually a, it's a glory to you that's why paul says that as well you know he, anyway so let's keep going okay so obama is also winking because you know, <laughs> 19th of july is the first day as well again we i just showed september 19th 19th of july also matches him Okay, it's his birth is one of his birthdays. Okay, matches him completely in these, and there's more than he matches. But I'm showing you these right here that fits on a page in a one line here, and then even these right here match in a way because he is 44. One plus three is four. 44, 44. Born on 210. 5 plus 5 is 10, 210. Move the 2 and the 1, you got 210. 44, born on 210. Even these are similar how that is because it's true. 44 is born on 210. And I'm going to show you what 210 is soon. Okay, but right now I'm going to show you what 12 o'clock is. And why is there 12 o'clock on the school, the classroom clock and on the t clock tower right there? Because it's a code. 12 o'clock is 12.00. And then what's the opposite of 12 as far as, um, you know, numbers versus letters? It's the letter L. L is 12. And then what's 0, 06 or, or 15? 1 plus 5 is 6. So we have L is 12 and O is 6. So we're kind of opposites in a sense. We've got letter, number, number, letter. Sorry, the other way around. <laughs> number, letter, letter, number. Okay, so it's kind of opposite there. So what's L66? Upside down and backwards, it's 99.7, and that is um, uh, July 18th, the first day, or the pre-day. And, of course, backwards is that, the last day, one of the last days, first and the second. Are, but that shows the year. 7 is 2 plus 2 plus 3. It's right there. That's what that's showing, okay. And what's what's so crazy about noon? That's or not noon, necessarily noon. It's just twelve o'clock. It could be night. You know, even though iPad Go kind of shows night. I mean, it literally could be either one, noon or midnight. But but look, what's also crazy about this? It also matches this. Remember the attack that happened in this year, okay? Because you just take the one and put it over here. What are these both? These both are representing this as well, okay. And then this is also. 9, 1 plus 1 is 2, and 2 plus 1 is 3. And what's 9, 2, 3 also code for? September, which is Septem, which is 7, 2, 3. There you go. See how that works? This is showing that as well. And that's the first 9, 1, and then 1, September 23rd. Okay, boom. And then also, this is also showing something unique as well. Okay, now I want to show you something about this real quick. So 9, 9 1, and then 1 is a unique. I'm saying it that way, but you'd say 9, 10, and then boom. You say 9, and then without the 10, you say boom, right? Okay, but I can't say it that way for different Al Gore rhythms. Okay, anyway, so if you say that, if you say this right here, 9, 1, and then 1, then people know what it is. You don't have to say what year, okay? So that shows that it's by itself. So this, the Lord showed me that this is a code. This equals this. Uh, okay, so 9, 1, and 1 equals all these dates, including this. Now watch. 9, 1, and 1 equals this. 2, like I said, 0, 0, 1. And what's, what is that also? It is this. Um, <laughs> also, that is literally pulled from an ad, okay, which is 2001, A Space Odyssey. Crazy. Another Stanley Kubrick, like The Shining, just so much in this movie as well. 2001. And look how these are obviously O's. This is a zero. These are squished. That is an O. Look how that is 2001. Obviously, but you know, most people don't see that. But that's 2001. Giving it away. That this is 2001. There's no zeros like that. They're squished like that. These are O's. See that? Proving my point. Okay. And it's about the birth. Again, this is about the birth of the Antichrist, okay? And so is 2001, the birth of the Antichrist. And again, Satan falling from heaven down to earth, okay? Causing the birth of the Antichrist on, in, on earth, okay? It's crazy. This is all here, I'm telling you. And so 2001 is 2661, which is a few things, but what, what it is is 26, 6 plus 1 is 7. Again, it is 9, 1 and 1 is Antichrist, 
or 726 is Antichrist or the 26th of July. Boom, another reason that that is 9 1 and 1. Also, it's about an event that's going to happen on this day. This is the death. Uh, this is the death day of Trumpel. So this is the reported death day of Obama's laws that happens the day before. And on that same day, Trumpel is going to be annihilated in Manhattanzels with a nukesels in Manhattanzels, and because uh, he's indicted in Manhattanzels anyway, and he's going to be in Trumpel Tower, um, and that's a uh, nukesels is going off in Manhattanzels, as, as I've said, and uh, just like uh, Obama's laws said already a few years ago. At a particular meeting of uh, countries, um, he said, I'm more concerned about a nuke going off of Manhattan's. I don't say it that way. Nukes going off of Manhattan's. I'm not, ter- you know, about terrorists. I'm more concerned about a nuke going off of Manhattan's. Anyway, I don't want to say it exactly because I don't want to say the exact words. So I'm trying to really watch my words because I don't want this thing being pulled down. I mean, it's just ridiculous how this is. I can't say what I'm really trying to say. Okay, so 911. Also, like I shared earlier, is September 11th, 711, and that's 7 2 plus 9, and that's his real birthday. Okay, when lightning falls from heaven and tsunami days. And to prove that even more, last couple days, 11 and 12, I'm doing this on the 13th, redoing this on the 13th, but I did on the 12th, um, is Prime Day. Prime Day was the 11th and 12th, or 29th and 30th. Okay, when he's born. Why is that? Because prime, he is the prime. He is the prime. I'll show you this. It's Prime Day. Shop deals now. In English, a reverse, 2 9, get rid of the 0, and 3 plus, again, there's a 133 again, but that's 7, 7, but it, I'm showing you this way 7 and 2 9, 29th of, Ju- of July. And then right here, an English, uh, ordinal, Jewish ordinal, 7 in the middle of 29. And then we also have 216. This was uncanny. This was so crazy to see this because 729 equals 216. Stinky B.O. was born on the 216th day of the year, which is August 4th, and that's equated to his birth on 729 because uh, 2 and 7 plus 9 is 16. This is so crazy. 7, 279 is a unique number. Not only is it 729, but it's also 2, 7 plus 9 is 16, equating this to this because 279 is 216. 2, 7 plus 9 is 16. So birth birth known birth unknown birth by the people but except from <laughs> you now <laughs> okay now watch if this is all true again i'm doing my best to speculate with all the evidence i can find and the, and the evidence the lord li- leads me to okay so prime day seven two plus five is seven two nine boom well lightning falling from heaven is also seven get rid of the nine two nine of course that's what he is as simple as that. Look at that. Which is 7-Eleven. Look at 7-Eleven and all these things. And then even the way they, people know him in the world is 6 plus 8 is 14, which is 5, plus 2 is 729. Are you kidding me? There it is. It's all over the place. And then he is the prime, which is 722-2023. And prime is also Lucifer, which is 7-4-2023. Okay, which is 722-2023, okay? And also he, so he's the um, Lucer, Lucifer incarnate, and he's the false Jesus. Again, seven fours. Now, this is crazy. He's the false Jesus, okay? And this is in Dramatrio, right? Watch this. Okay, just like in, just like some of these other ones, you see seven four and six one, seven four and six one. Again, we know that, I know this is the hiding the year, or seven, which is hiding two plus two plus three. Now, watch this. So, Another reason why he's the false Jesus is because this equates to his birth. Also, not just this birth, but the, the, his actual birth that we know. Why? Because August 4th is his birthday that we know. Seven months and four days into 1961 is August 4th, 1961. Are you kidding me? That is proof right there. Seven months, you count it. Count seven months. So count all the way through July. That's seven full months. And then four months into August is 7-4, or 7-22, get it? So crazy, 7-4, 1961, 7-4, just like we have 23 as a year. Like, do you write on your checks 2023, something like, but you, if you have a check, so 23, or you write the year, sometimes you write 23 on documents or whatever, right? Or even type them, 23, sometimes it's 2023, but for short, it's 23, for short, it's 61. But you see how 61 is also hiding 2023, it's crazy. It's also Optimus Prime. 722-2023. 7, 4 is 722. And then 1 plus 1 is 2. 5 is higher than 23. And who is Optimus Prime? 
Okay, first of all, he's purple. He's blue and red is purple. Optimum comes from the Latin optimus, meaning best. Prime also has a meaning of best individual. So it means he's the best individual. Now, if you think of the best individual, okay, you can't think of a regular person because we're all equal. Technically, in the eyes of God, we're all equal. But the best individual, in my mind, is Jesus, the Christ. But if you're looking at the wrong Christ, it's the false Christ, it's the Antichrist. He is the best individual. So he is the prime. He's the prime, okay? And I'm proving it by that. And purple is 7-4 also. Like I said, Stinky B.O. is 7-4. Uh, I mean, he is he is purple. He's also ultraviolet, more specifically. He's got an ultraviolet tassel um, as the president. And he's graduating to the Antichrist. The tassel goes from the back to the front on, on I bet go two. And every version of him, like the skeleton man, the skeleton man, uh, Baron Samadhi, and all these other things, the witch doctor, uh, whatever you want to call it, in iPad Goat, there's um, some hidden, um, <laughs> there's some hidden um, uh, ultraviolet. Um, even like Black Panther is six six six. The character Black Panther in Marvel is powered up by ultraviolet light, and then smashes it down. <laughs> okay, all these different things. There's so much like this. I mean, it's crazy. I've been seeing the last two years, which I never saw in my entire life, starting about two years ago or two and a half years ago. I saw all this in Colorado where I live, and he's in the den, the Denver, and he lives under the. He has a big facility underneath the uh, DIA, Denver International Airport, and I see all this ultraviolet lightning. Again, lightning falling from heaven, ultraviolet. I've never in my life, and I've been to Colorado with this massive lightning strikes in a row, massive storms with tons of lightning. It's known for that. And I've never in my life, until about a couple years ago, saw ultraviolet lightning storms, ever, ever. And I've seen hundreds of storms. I mean, literally, sometimes in Colorado, you see a storm a day with lightning. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, I'm not kidding. It comes off the mountains and it goes east. And that's another thing that when this is all fall stuff, when we get so much um, weather and stuff, it's crazy. It's going the opposite direction. It's going towards the mountains. But the barometric pressure usually almost always pushes it away from the mountains. That's another way you can tell it's unnatural. It's been caused. It's crazy. So purple is 7-4 with 722. And then, or 8 4, because seven, 7 months and 4 days into the year is 8 4. And then 8 plus 8 is 16, or backwards 61. 8 4 of 1961 is, that's why purple is stinky BO. I've told you it's a thousand times, people, a thousand times. Feels like a thousand times. I've been mean, hundreds of times over five years. And I literally, the day I was told to start my YouTube videos was August 4th, 2018. And I started the next day, August 5th. Because he told me to do it. And I didn't even realize that I did on, on his birthday until months later. He was like, oh, by the way, he started on his birthday. And he was 57 years old, which is 75, which is 723. And I have all these things. It's crazy. Okay. And Autobots roll out is um, 227 because you take 226 right here. You take the one from here and put it over here. Cross all that off. And you cross off the nine because you think you add nine, two stays the same. And we have 227 and then seven times 2023, of course. It's also, that's one way of looking at it. Another way of looking at it is you take this one. So cross this out, take this one, put it over there, and you have 279 or 279. And 279, like I said earlier, is 2, 7 plus 9 is 16. So uh, July twenty, July in the middle, 29th, is his birth. And 216 is his number. The 216th day of the year is August 4th. And there's his number. See how this works? It's crazy. Okay? Even God, he is, so I said he was Lucifer incarnate. He's the false Jesus, and he is the false God. He's going to... Like he says, he's going to exalt himself to be God, okay? Even the word God is made up. Listen, English is made up already way back when to match all this stuff ahead of time. So if you're thinking, oh, how does this stuff match? Because English was designed by demons to match all this stuff and be pre-planned to be this already. Otherwise, all these things I mentioned, Jesus, Lucifer, God, they're all similar in so many ways. Why? Because it's designed that way by demons. Okay, so God is not only 755 or 723, 23. And by the way, God is 555. Seven is this, July is the fifth month. And then we have five and we have five, 555. Okay, um, and 555 is that day because July is the fifth month of the Roman calendar. 23rd is two plus three is five. And then in a sense, 2023 or 23 is five, 555. Okay, and there was an Argentinian movie I shared a while back. 
uh, a couple of years ago that it, uh, Argentinian movie shows a huge tsunami coming in Buenos Aires and because there's a there's an obelisk just like in Washington D.C. and there's a huge tsunami coming like that's going to hit Washington D.C. and then there's a red planet and stuff and it literally says in the ad it's it, the movie's called five dash five dash five it says everything is coming it shows a tsunami coming and a red planet which is you know, um, it's crazy. I've showed that in my past videos. And that is, I believe that's 723. 555 is code for 723.23. Because seven is the, uh, July is the fifth month. And again, God, not only is that that, God is 26, which is 2nd of July, the sixth month. I'm oh, sorry, 2nd of August being the sixth month of the Roman calendar. 2nd of August. There you go. And that, and that day, he's going to make himself God to the world with the aliens showing up. And he's going to be the mediator between the go the gods and man. Jesus, that's why he's the false Christ. Jesus is the, is the mediator now between God and, man, God and man, or God and people, right? But he's going to be the mediator between the gods and man, and men and women. Okay, it's crazy as a false Christ. And they're going to set it up to look like he's been the Christ all along and he's the reformed Christ. It's crazy. Okay, and then the CERN is 66666. All the other sixes here. And then um, then we have um, the goddess of destruction, Shiva, that's in front of CERN, okay? And that's destruction. Uh, Stinky Bo is the god of destruction. Apollo or Apollyon. And Shiva is the goddess of destruction. And see how they equate these? He's, they're secretly showing him as a god, a god, or a god of destruction. Shiva is a god of destruction. Apollyon, Apollo is a god of destruction. Now watch. God of destruction. 237. That's when destruction starts. That's when um, the first day the United States is attacked. Babylon is attacked. We are Mystery Babylon. Okay? It's... It is a fact. It's in there. In fact, it says Babylon will be destroyed by tumultuous waves. And I know we, I've had dreams on 11th and 12th day that uh, tsunamis would hit the United States on the east and west coast. And that's going to happen on the 29th and 30th if that's the numerology right. But definitely going to be on the 11th and 12th day, whatever that is. And I know for a fact, without a doubt, that the tsunami, the mega tsunami is going to hit both coasts. And I've shown that. How um, La Palma is going to be, and I've talked about this for years, and then La Palma went off a couple years ago. It's going to go off again. That's in my timeline. Look at the, you know, my timeline pinned to the top of comments. La Palma is going to get hit with something underneath with a, with a, uh, a submarine, and it's going to uh, it's going to be a torpedo, a nuclear torpedo, hit the bottom of it. The already prepped chunk of it is going to fall into the ocean, cause a massive tsunami, and it hits the east coast. Okay, over the Atlantic coast, across the Atlantic in about three, 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 three and a half hours. And the same thing on the other side at the same time, roughly. Um, Hawaii is already prepped for that with Kilauea and everything. There's a crack right down that happened a few years, um, more, that was 2018 or, what, uh, 2018 or whatever it was. Um, and then that's going to be prepped. That's going to fall into the ocean at the same time. They're going to be coordinated and they're going to both have mega tsunamis hit both coasts at the same time. And then really crippling the United States. And then a few days later, nukes nuke are going to go off in all, 23 cities. And that's all in predictive programming as well. Boom. Okay, so this is crazy. Watch. Barack Obama equals God of all things. I'm going to show you. So we got, we have, I would just say Barack Obama, God of all things. It shows that, it shows them both. And then I'm going to show you how it, it, these are all equal to that, proving that he's the Antichrist. Now watch. Watch how these line up. Boom. These line up so crazily right here. So the God of all things is Barack Obama and he is the Antichrist. And God of all things is the GOAT. G. O A T or greatest of all t of all time, like all these sports heroes are examples of Obama. The greatest of all time are the goats, like an iPad, like guy bed goat. He's the goat. He's the Baphomet. He's a female and male together. He's the evil example of of um, Satan or the or the Antichrist, the Baphomet, and he's female and male. Anyway, boom. Okay, and then also what's unique about all these? All these are eight four eight four. Get rid of the nine. Eight four eight four. He was born on eight four, the two hundred sixteenth day of the year with hundred and forty nine days left over. Does these two have that? Hundred and forty nine days left over. Okay. Two hundred sixteenth day of the year with hundred forty nine days left over. And I know that really well because my birthday is hundred and forty nine day of the year with two hundred sixteen days left over. <laughs> and uh, the Lord's told me that I'm the antithesis to him. And the group I'm in, the hundred forty four are the antithesis to him. He's the forty four with a one four four, but one times forty four is forty four. Where the, he's the 44 with the 144. Okay, that's it. With the antithesis to him. That's why I'm doing these things because I'm putting out the antithesis to and revealing who he is. Okay, so 
an iPad Go here. We got the V. People think he's sweating, but he. This is really there's a right here. There's a penis on the chalkboard, and that is unfortunately semen coming down. It's really gross. In fact, some people have said that iPad Go is from God, and it's a message. And I was like, no, it's not. It's not good in any way. It's got semen all over the thing. It's like it's it's in almost most scenes, and even hidden in so many scenes and a big, and several. Uh, peni, <laughs> whatever, penis, it's just so bad, it's so bad, I I cringe when I think about it, okay, V is 22, and when this comes down, most people don't see this, but it, it becomes a J right there, which is 10, now watch, when you put these together, you have 22, 10, and 10 is hiding 10 and O, or sorry, 1 and O, 1 and O is 1 and 15, 1, 1, 1, 5 is 7, and then we bring this down as 722, there we go, see, another way of doing this is this way, 22 and 10 is 32, and that's 23 backwards, or take away the 0, 1 plus 22 is 23, however you want to do it, so it has day and month, and then another way of doing it is the year, so you put them together, day and month, year, and to even prove that even more, boom, if you take V, V is 22 in the English Ordinal and reverse is 5. They love doing forward and reverse. Okay, so we're going to take that. And we got J in English Ordinal is 10 and the reverse is 7. Now watch. Watch how this makes the exact... Watch how this makes that. Watch how this makes that to prove what I'm saying. 7, 22, 2, 1 and 1 is 2, and then 5 is hiding 2, 3. There we go. See? Proving it. And then um, to prove this too... See, another reason why in part one I thought it could be 7, 4, and 7, 5, and that timeline starting with 7, 3 and hitting Ukrainians and all that is because, it, it, you know, I put these together like that. But when you look at this, look, look what 7, 3 was. It was 7, 21, 21st, so just see. And there's a lot of these. And then I'm like, okay, it could be 3 or it could be 21, and I knew that. But also the reason why I'm saying this is because um, 7, 3 is when um, iPad Go came out on YouTube. And so that's hiding 7, 21. Okay, and even it came out on 7 3 2012, and that's 2, and then 12 is 1 plus 2 is 3. So it's 7 21 23 is when it came out on YouTube, is the code for actually, again, this is all predictive programming of what's coming in the future. The things you see are hidden information for what's coming in the future. And this is absolutely crazy. Okay, check check this out. August 2nd, 1776 to August 2nd, 2023, the signing Declaration of Independence to the last day of the United States is 90,214 days, and it just so happens that August 2nd is the 214th day of the year? Nope. It reinforces it. It makes it even more impossible that that would line up exactly. In fact, from, from the signing of the Declaration of Independence to the very last day of this, uh, or the first day of the year, la uh, sorry, last day of last year was 90,000 exactly. And then you add 214 days to get to August 2nd. That's crazy. How that would match up, that's another kind of example of how this would match up is crazy. So what's crazy about 214? O to infamous break in in Watergate Hotel, room 214. Again, it's all in predictive programming. Back in the 70s with Watergate and everything, okay? Even back then, far way farther back than that, but I'm just seeing an example. Look, even G. Gordon Liddy is uh, 722 and all that, and all these other things. So, 214 is the Watergate. What's Watergate? It not only sounds like it, it's a Watergate dimension, a portal. Watergate is on 723, like I said, 55 five or 723 or 75, right? Also, the water gate is going to be on the last day because um, it's going to open and the creature, the creature from the abyss is going to come out because Y is going to be destroyed. He's the cap of the abyss. And then these things are going to, CERN is going to make a portal over that. And all these things are going to come out as described as uh, locusts with scorpion tails look like men. <laughs> and crazy, whatever, these creature monsters. The water gate monsters come out at 723 and water gate monsters on 82. But Watergate, and Watergate is also 8-2, but I have, I'm going to show you that as well. Now look, watch Watergate, see? And then Watergate's also talked about in Stranger Things 4 that just came out. By the way, right here, um, look at the date. It, volume 1 is May 27th. Backwards is 725, the death of the Antichrist, 725. And July 1st is the birth of the Antichrist, July 19th, to take away the 9. July 19th or July 1st. Death, birth, right there. Boom. Okay, Stranger Things, just in general, without 1, 2, 3, or 4, is 7, 4, a 7, 22. Take the 1 and put it over here, but you have 1 plus 1 is 2, and 4 is 2 and 2. So you have 22, take this 1 over here, so we have 7, 22, 20, 22, plus 1, 20, 23. There it is, bam. And then in the movie, or the show, 
it seems like a movie, but it's good quality like that as far as that goes. Um, in the in the show, um, this character Max, this is Lord Vecna, the evil Antichrist kind of dude that's going to bring hell to earth, the upside down to the right side up. It's all symbolic. Even L is God. Eleven is short. L is short for eleven, and L means God, the false god, and that's Obama. Even short haircut like Obama and everything is crazy. And again, she's a male. She looks like a male with a short haircut, and she's a female. They show this all the time. There's even a scene I show in Stranger Things one where she's fighting the Demogorgon, and the lights are flashing off and on. And when I paused it, she looks like she's black, and then she has a short haircut. She looks just like Obama. It's crazy, crazy. Stuff I found. It's um, the stuff on Obama is off the charts. Fat, if, I'm sorry if you don't believe, understand that. You need to look at my videos and look at the evidence. It's off the charts. Just the fact that Jesus said in Luke 10:18 that see um, Satan is lightning falling from heaven, and that in Hebrew is Barack Obama, and that exactly matches him. Are you insane if you don't understand that? I mean, what is wrong with you? Like, I mean. Seriously, that is absolutely off the charts if possible. That would actually be his name, and it would be known by the world. And that's what Jesus said, that that is who Satan is, and that's in Hebrew. I mean, I don't get it. I don't get how you don't see that. And that's my number one on 700+. plus. Uh, wow. When I first saw that, I was like, die. I mean, wow. This is crazy. Okay. And then he, Lord Vector goes, Max. Max. And by the way, max equals 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7, 1 plus 3 is 4, or 722. So when he's saying that, it's equaling the same amount. So he's saying 722, 722, max, 722. Okay, and there's also other reasons, other things going on there too, which is crazy. But I can't unpack all that. Okay, bam. And then this is the fourth Stranger Things. And then they're saying there, and I've seen some um, imagery and some other stuff about season five where Max looks like she's evil or whatever. It's crazy, which is not a surprise. Okay, but so we're now, we just had season four happen and we're going into season five. And this is the perfect time for that because because 22nd going into the 23rd is when this is going to happen, right in between. And we're in between the fourth and the fifth season. We're going to be going in between 22nd and 23rd is when about possibly about midnight mountain time, I'm guessing. But you know, this is a predictor programming in movies at midnight, r- roughly. It's crazy. And and even, uh, anyway, I'm not getting to all of it right now, but it's crazy. So keep going here. We're on the way here. Um, and then look, see, Watergate is 88, and that's when the Watergate started happening in the 8 plus 8 days. Even Gate is 75 or 723. And what does uh, he say? He says, um, how did how did Watergate open up? Only two gates have opened so far as we know. And they go through a Watergate. Um, it's in a lake, right? And they go through the skate through the water, and they kind of make, it's kind of funny that it sounds like Watergate that happened earlier in their time frame. Their time frame is the 80s, and then Watergate happened in the 70s, and they kind of make a joke of it. But they're, make, they're, they're showing you that even that political thing that happened in the 70s was a clue that the Watergate's going to open up on 723. Watergate, 723. It's crazy, people. It's right there. He even has a lightning cap, and that's lightning falling from heaven. Uh, all the things. Literally, I've I've broken this down in so many ways. It's crazy. Um, that it's all matches the seven four and seven five. It's and even the first and last days. Even Stranger Things three came out in Fourth of July, which is seven twenty two. And then again, these two are the main characters. They're shown as the main characters right here. If there's two primary characters, even listed in IMDb and all, is the first two characters. Okay, or the first two actors. Right now, watch. Watch when you do this. This is a crazy where the Lord led me on this. So you literally have, she's the main, of course, because she's the she's the main character. She's one of the superpowers. She's the superhero or the god or the Antichrist version or whatever. And her name is Millie Bobby Brown, and his name, his name is Finn Wolfhard. Now watch what the Lord showed me. This is so crazy. First letter code. Finn, what a name. Finn Wolfhard? I mean, talk about something that's made up. Finn Wolfhard. Anyway, and there's a, even a, that's Finn is even something crazy. There's even a Finn in uh, Star Wars, whatever. Anyway, and Star Wars is aliens, and that's the fifth day. <laughs> so that's, uh, just I can go for, on forever uh, down all kinds of rabbit holes. Again, rabbit holes, portals. Anyway, um, Finn Wolfhard, Millie Bobby Brown. The first letter code. Watch this. F is six. W is twenty three. M or let's go over here. Two B is two. B is two. 
okay? And M is 13. Watch this. It's color coded perfectly. First letter code is a little bit scrambled, but it's kind of clear. 6 plus 1 is 7, 23, and 2, 2, 3 right there. Look at that. Are you kidding me? And there are a couple in the, the show, okay? And them together, their first letter code together is 723, 2023. Exactly! Not off by one digit. Not off by one digit. Look at that. Look how clear that is. 6, 1, and 7, 23, 2, 2, 3. I mean, are you kidding me? I'm proving it. And then even the, even what we celebrate is the Constitution being signing and all that stuff. And, then, and you know, the beginning of the United States, 7, 4, 7, 7, 4 17, 76, or uh, 4th of July, 1776, is even coded. Watch this. And I color coded to help, but um, you switch the 1 and the 7, and then that's 7, 4, then we have 7, and then we have 17 and 6. 17 plus 6 is what? 23. So we literally have 7, 4, 7, 23. Okay? We even also have 7, 4 plus 7 is 11, 23. We have the birth of the Antichrist. 7, 11, 23. 7, 11 is 2 plus 9, hiding 2 plus 9, and 23 is a year. That's one way of looking at it. We also have the exact two days of this portal. Um, the first portal, 7, 4, and 7, 23, or which is really 7, 22 and 7, 23. There's a few ways to do this. But it's right there. It's right in front of our face. Again, what the, the elite believe, hidden in plain sight. So you agree to it, you sign the contract, and then you know you, all, the, all this stuff happens, and the mass push it towards this as they're guiding people secretly behind the scenes. Okay, boom. And then I want to share what Jesus said to me um, about three years ago. I was saying to my friend S that uh, Jesus said to me, and this was in late, this is so crazy, this is, it was in late December, I remember very vividly, I don't remember exactly what day, it could have been the 29th, very possibly, because December 29th is L29, and L upside down and backwards is 729, it's crazy, but um, uh, I said to her that Jesus said, it's just around the corner, it's just around the corner, that's what he said. So I was thinking, oh, around on the other side of, you know, maybe the first of the year or whatever, and then nothing happened in January. Nothing happened in the first of the year. Nothing happened in January. I was like, oh, man, what does that mean? And the Lord later recently reminded me that it's Gematria. Look, this is incredible how these match. This is almost so rare to get Gematria to match the, the forward and reverse. Almost every single Gematria that's forward and reverse is matched, except for two, I think. And look at this. English reverse is 29th of July, 29th of July, the birth of the Antichrist, 29th of July, 29th of July, and even backwards, 2 8 plus 1, 29th of July. 2 8 plus 1, 29th of July. Both of these. So all four of these are 29th of July, and then we have 3 2 3. What's that? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you in just a second what 3 2 3 is. Okay, and then about a year and a half ago, he said, Isis is born on 2 10. And this was a dream. This was where he just talked to me. And this was a dream. He said, Isis is born in 210. At first, I was like, Isis? I was, oh, yeah, that's right. He's Egyptian Isis. He's Akhenaten. And then Isis is a female version of the god um, and everything like that. And all that. Isis, Osiris, and Ra is a female version of Osiris. And, uh, is, you know, represents God and everything. The female version of God and all that. And then, look, 323, 323, 323. Three, three. Again, forward, reverse. Forward, reverse, same. Forward, reverse, same. Forward, reverse, same thing. Same thing is up there. Again, super, super rare. Super, super rare. Super. In fact, most people couldn't find one that know Gematria to some degree. They couldn't find one or know of one or even multiple for sure of these that the forward that were matched, matched reverse. And most of them, say one or two. I mean, almost every single one of them. And then if there is one that don't match, they, they look like each other. They just a couple digits different. You just switch them or something. It's crazy. It's so crazy. Okay, so now watch this. This is crazy. Boom. So we we this is the 29th of July, 29th of July, 29th of July. Now what is this? What's 165, 165? And by the way, this is 9 and 7 is 165, 165, 165, 165. And the fact that these match, that these are uniquely are all July 29th and these are all 165 165 7 plus or 9 plus 7 is 1 and 16 5 165 165 watch this the 200th day of the year the 200th day of the year is 19th of July with 165 days left over so literally this is referring to uh July 19th his birth the first day and his birth the actual birth with lightning falling from heaven crazy and Isis is born in 210 is the phrase, and July 29th is the 210th day of the year. 
all this, if you understand what I'm saying, all this is absolutely impossible. It's off the charts impossible that these would relate, being from how, but they're from Jesus. They're they're massive wisdom from above, from the Lord Jesus to me, and it's the man. This this is like huge. Now again, what is three two three three two three three two three? And again, this is forward verse three two three forward verse three three two three. Okay, watch what's three two three. <laughs> in reverse ordinal it's three two three it's in it's off the charts i'm saying i mean are you kidding me proving that his first day of birth is 719 and his his other birth is 729 nine five three two three three two three three two three 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 two three are you kidding me man i am proving it boom okay so um Another thing, this is really crazy. So, again, August 22nd, 1776. Now we're going to go to the 29th. Remember, the 29th is 210th day of the year. Again, that's 90,210. Not, not surprising because it was 214 and 214, 90,214. But just reiterate that, that that's 210. What is 90210 or 90210? Remember 90210? Any of you people that were around in the 90s? 90210? Okay. or uh, Crazy. 90210 is marking out the birth of the Antichrist. And trust me, in all their birth dates and their names and everything is all these this date. It's crazy. I'm I'm just gonna now watch. Beverly Hills and it's Beverly Hills 90210 or BH two eights. BH is two eights and Beverly Hills together is that's two ten. See that one and the zero just or 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 it's um it's uh what do you call it? Um ha ha Ah, I have another brain fart. I hate it when that happens. I'm usually pretty good. I'm going and going and going. And then um, it's, uh, what's that? Um, it was in October. Whoo. It's, uh, oh, man, I can't remember now. Um, okay, anyway, let's pass this. Passes. It's 201. Fa uh, event, oh, event 201. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Lord. Event 201. Event 201 is the birth of the Antichrist, and 201 is hiding 210. It's really event 210. And evidence of that is it happened, uh, event 201 was on October 18th, which is 1018. In Luke 1018, lightning falls from heaven, and that's lightning falls from heaven, which is 210, 729, 711. And then we also have 722. Boom. Anyway, sorry about that. A little brain fart there. Beverly Hills is also 149 and 175. What is that? We take 149 and get rid of the 9, and then we're going to take 7, get rid of the 9, because everything adds 9 just stays the same. And then we have 14 and 15 is 29. Again, 210 is 210 day of the year is 729, Beverly, Beverly Hills. Okay, crazy. Beverly Hills is also, again, 149 and 894. What's 149 and 894? It's Antichrist. Okay, boom. And then how do we know this? Well, uh, how do we uh, equate this to CQBO? Because the hundred and four, like I said earlier, the hundred forty ninth day of the year is my birthday, May twenty ninth, with two hundred and sixteen days left over, and the two hundred sixteen day of the year is August fourth. Again, get rid of the nine. Just put a slash through the nine. Get anything you add nine two stays the same. So two one six is August fourth, and that is we know the two hundred sixteen day of the year is August fourth, and the Antichrist is CQBO or Beverly Hills in code. Crazy. Bam! This is this is insane right here. This is one season of BH nine hundred two one zero. Okay, this is mind blowing. The Lord showed me this. I could not believe it. I was beside myself. Okay, so watch this again. BH nine hundred two one zero. Again, get rid of the nine. So what do we have here? We have BH o two one zero or two one zero. Barack Hussein Obama on two ten. Are you kidding me? Look at that. B H O Barack Hussein Obama because they call this O nine O two one O B H O on two one O or two one zero B H O on two one zero or B H O on seven twenty nine the two hundred tenth day of the year incredible hopefully that is incredible boom I'm gonna go I'm gonna end with this this is insane watch this then we have this series that came off of the Jeffersons I believe it's two two seven okay look at this. 227 in September 4 plus 1 or 22 plus 1 1985 remember I said it just like um back to the future 1985 is not 1 plus 9 plus 8 plus 5 is 23 7 is September 4 is 22 plus 1 is 23 23 okay that's when it came it originally started that day the birth of that show 227 <laughs> okay and then 
227 is in itself 7, 2, 2. And then remember, 1, 4 is 5, and 5 is 2, 3. The other version of 5 is 2, 3, except for 1, 4. So 7, 22, 5 is 23. I get 227, bam. And who stars in it? Oh, look, 227, 1985, which is 23. 227, 23. I mean, who is this, who is this a big star even now? Is Regina King. Regina King. Oh, this kept coming up for me recently. And with my brother Constantine, it's crazy because her name, I'll tell you what her name means in a second. Uh, Regina King is crazy. Watch this. Look at her name. It's 7, um, 5 or 7, 23 and 7, 22. Francis Bacon, reverse Francis Bacon. See how this is going together? It's insane. Look at this. And these are separate. They, they don't put them together as a year or whatever. They just show one. They do this sometimes. Show both days and two, the two. 75 which is 723 and 722 and that would the fact that, that would match that and then 227 is 227 spelled out are you kidding me and then watch Regina King Regina King right here what does Regina mean Regina means queen queen king she's the queen king Stinky B.O. is the Baphomet he's a male and female he's the queen king she is the queen king. That's why she's still around now from back then. And most of the actors aren't because she's the queen king. She represents Obama. Even her birthday, January is the 12th month. January is 12th month of the Roman calendar. Like I said, we're talking about Roman calendar a lot. Watch. 7, 2, 2. So 1 and 1 is 2. 7, 2, 2. And then 2, 5. Get rid of the 9. 2, 5 is 2 and 5 is 23. 7, 2, 2. 25 or 223 722 2023 and she's 722 and she was in 227 and 227 spelled out as 2223 and all this other stuff no i don't think so no i don't think so okay so he is the queen king he is the queen king about and by the way if you look at any um, sculptures of the full body of Akhenaten he's got massive huge hips that a man would never have because he was a male and female and, and Obama is a clone of him with a little bit of uh, royal um, royal DNA from the from the royal family, um, uh, the British royal family. Okay, uh, crazy, 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 crazy. Because she ends up being her his mother, and she's Lily, and she's given birth in iPad Goat, and that's him. And he's he's the apple, which is Jupiter coming out of the Revelation 12 sign, which is the Virgin. All this stuff is crazy. So are, I'm just warning you: don't take the blue pill. Do not take the mark. He is the beast. He is the first beast. Um, Prince William is the second beast. Um, whatever. I'm not getting into all that. That's very complicated and stuff, and I don't need to get into all that. But so anyway, uh, he's going to offer this the the thing that gives you when that when the aliens come. He's going to offer you the thing that makes you like them and like him. And don't take it. Do not take it. If you if you don't believe me, you'll find out, and then you will believe me. <laughs> you will, you'll see. You'll see. So this is the point in which I thank the people that have helped me um, in the past and they've given um, in any way uh, prayers. I, I cover your prayers. I thank you for your prayers. Continue prayers for my family and me. Thank you so much. Um, any positive comments, anything like that, anything contributed to anything positive I've done, including giving uh, donations and things like that. In fact, this time I usually ask as well. If you're able to give, I really appreciate it. I'm just going to cover my rent tomorrow, and I'm just I'm probably eighty bucks beyond that. So I really need your help. I need to go shopping, groceries for my family. Uh, I'm one of six members of my family. I have four kids, and I just uh, I'm just honest and open. I just I, I need money for food. Thank you, and uh, thank you, Lord. And I just ask Lord every time. I try to ask, and sometimes He says no, and sometimes He says yes. And this time it's like yes. Um, so I just, and then, so the links are in the description box below for PayPal, or if you can sign up for Zelle Pay at ZellPay.com for free, and it's better than PayPal, it's free, and you can transfer funds from bank to bank or whatever, it's very easy, or you can send a P.O. box, whatever, you know, now if this time frame happens, then there, you know, I still need it for next week, <laughs> I still need food for next week, but if this time frame happens, then, you know, it's not huge for the future, but if it doesn't, I'm still going to need help. So thanks so much. Anybody who's able to give, and I just encourage you, I feel like the Lord's pressing upon me right now, which I've never said. He's just telling me right now, this is unusual. He's saying, if you haven't given in the past, consider giving um, for, you, for your own benefit. That's what he's saying. I've never said that. I'm, I'm just going to leave it at that. That's what he just said to say. So I'm saying that. Um, and if you haven't considered, consider it now. And if you, you're moved by him, only if you're moved by him. That's what I'm asking. Um, then please, you know, I ask you to give. 
um, because ultimately it's his will anyway. And I only want to be in his will. That's my desire. So I'm going to leave it at that. This video has been way too long already, long enough. So I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you. Um, just God bless you. And please share this with as many people as possible. This is going to be on my backup channel right now. Um, but share it. Uh, you know, there's not... Share it as much as you can, please. I beg you, and I beg for you for people to see this because most of the stuff's going to happen, whether it's the days exactly or not, which very, very possibly I'm saying, but it might not be. Okay, I'm not. I'm never going to say it's definitely going to happen this time because I don't know. I don't know. I would never say that um, because I'm guessing. And the fact that Jesus just gives us crumbs is that all? That's all you can do. Anybody can do. He's not going to give us exactly everything. That makes no sense. We have to work it all. We have to work out our salvation. We have to work it out. And it's and it's a process, and it's you know the journey is the the whole point, not the destination, as I, a lot of people know. Okay, so thank you so much. Please share this. Thank you for your prayers. If you're able to give, please, God, thank you so much. Thank you in Jesus' name for anything that you would consider giving to me, and my family. Um, so I'll leave it at that. And this is Exalted Lamb One, over and out.